Last time on The Lost at Sea, our heroes had taken up the challenge uh, to assist the nearby uh, the nearby Gekoi village after being discovered by them uh, while they were lost in the ruins after their ship had run aground on the coast of Glaeus. After investigating, they were able to discover that a large primate uh, infected with some sort of strange corruption uh, was accosting uh, the, the friendly treant, the representation of nature, and after some discussion, decided that they would attempt to save the primate. The ensuing battle was arduous, but landed in the favor of our heroes, and as such, they were able to purify the beast. The beast left with them its blessing and retreated into the forest. So, let us begin where we left off. You have just defeated the beast, and your task is complete. Is what anyone hurt? Do? Did anyone take any damage? No. Ain't nobody I'm feeling did. great. Hey, by the way, didn't mean to take your kill from you. I just saw a shot, and I had to take it. He's pointing, pointing at Coots. Oh, it's okay. I'll never forgive you, but I understand. Why? Can you roll that? Can you roll that first part back a little bit? Um. Yeah. No. It, it, I'll just never forgive you, but it's okay. Editor's note: He didn't. Is Mori still wearing my trash armor that I imbued him with? Uh, for a little bit longer. Okay. Yeah. How long does that last? Uh, one minute. So like, it'll be on for a couple more seconds. Looking good, Mori. I appreciate your assistance. It was quite useful the trash always is i'm gonna hand the the magic mace over to stinkler mm. oh now this has been in my family for generations the, so the monkey left treat this the weapon with respect Joker. what do you I've had this for yeah, did, thousands, hundreds of years. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, didn't, he, didn't you just get that, Goker? Like, like maybe to, I, five seconds I, ago? We all okay. saw you pick it up with your tongue. Yeah, yeah, thanks for backing. Yeah, we definitely saw you pick it up with your tongue and went, and it, like, shot out. Wait, hold on. That might be a random branch. That might be a random stick he brought from the woods. Check it. That was a tree branch that you saw drop. <laughs> um, okay, sorry. So you think that us seeing your tongue dart out to pick up that hammer was a, a, actually a tree branch falling. Yeah. I I think I he might be joking. That. Oh, that makes sense. Hmm. Okay. Well, thank you for the mace anyway. I will cherish it just like your ancestors before you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, God. Before we get to ask, uh, leveling yeah. up to level two, do I get any additional spells, or is it yes, just sir? The One additional spell? spell for first level. Yes. We and do. you also get leans in, whispers elegantly in ear. You get access to your sorcerer, uh, your uh, sorcerer's font. Oh fuck yeah! So, uh, where can I find or font the of, font of magic? Excuse me. Uh, here, I'll just link this to you. Two big choices you'll have to make before we get into the next combat. Uh, moist is uh, which of your meta magic I sent it to you directly. Which of your uh, meta magics you're going to choose? Okay. See, uh, because when you get font, or excuse me, you don't get meta magic yet, but it's a good thing to keep in mind on what meta magics you want to pick because right now you just get a font of energy which lets you cast more, but that font later lets you spend it for meta magic, which can really define what your character actually uses. So. To give you an idea, one of the meta magics is Twin Spell, which is if you cast the spell Haste, which normally only targets one ally and gives them the Haste buff, which is one of the most powerful buffs in the game, uh, Twin Spell would let you put that on two people. But that's one of your choices. Uh, another another powerful meta magic is Quicken Spell, which lets you cast a action spell as a bonus action. And Sorcerers in my game are the only ones that can double cast. Cast two spells Ooh. at once. So... That's something to keep in mind as well. Two leveled spells, which means two chances for wild magic to proc. All right, fuck yeah. So, so to be clear, this level, you get Font of Magic. Okay. That's, that's what you get. Uh, I believe I get Channel Divinity. Yep, you get Channel Divinity. Uh, I believe 
Coots gets. I get another divine domain feature. Oh, Coots gets something. Uh, Coots yeah. does get something. Coots gets key. This is when you yep. actually turn into a monk. Uh, key what? is a pool of mystical energy that you use uh, to channel through your body, which can give you all sorts of cool stuff. Dude, you can release your Riatsu. Yep. The three abilities that you start with are Flurry of Bo uh, Blows, uh, Patient Defense, and Step of the Wind. And you have two key, and each of those abilities costs one key. I have two key every every fight? How, how does my key... Uh, you have two key until you replenish it. Uh, key is replenished whenever you take a... I believe it's long rest, but let me check. Oh, never mind. You get your key during a short rest. So, basically, once a fight, if you rest between fights. So it was Fury of Blows, Step, Step, Step Row. Here, I'll just I'll I'll copy paste it for you. Sure, yeah, that works. Here's your here's your shorthand. I'll put it in a Lost C chat in the Discord. Okay. There you go. Those are your three options. And you have two, you have two key, and you get and each of those costs one key. All right. And as for everybody else's level up, uh, Goker, you get access to Song of Rest. I believe I remember us talking about that. Uh, Jack of all trades, which is already automatically tracked. Um, and you get another spell, and you get uh, Mori. You get a uh, Fighting Spirit. This level. As a yes. samurai, which is sick, nasty, cool. It is. I assume that's the the action surge replacement, correct? Uh, yes. Well, focus is the action surge replacement, but instead of getting second wind, you get fighting spirit, which is what the subclass of samurai normally gets in normal mm -hmm. fighter, which is um, you gain five temporary hit points and advantage on all your attacks, and you can do I'll that three it. times a combat, baby. It's pretty yeah, good per long rest, which is nice. Yeah, it's very cool. Yes. Wait, where is Durst? Oh, there he is. Durst is right here, and he has a thirst. All right, so that should be more magic. a quick review of everybody's levels. Cool. So I have a... Sorry, it says here I have another Divine Domain uh, feature. I don't know what that is. I mean, at least Perfect. it says that on the book. What, what level are you looking at? Level two. You should have Channel Divinity. Channel Divinity and Divine Domain feet. That's what it says. But we can just go with Channel Divinity. Divine Domain Feet. Your Divine Domain Feature should be at third. No, it's not. There's nothing at third, actually. That's the wild thing. They put Divine... Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at this weird... Okay, the, the chart. Yeah, no, no, no. I no, thought no, I was no. going... No, no, no. You're right, right. You're right. You're right. right. You, you get... Yeah. Do, and that should be listed underneath the domains on the World Anvil. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll need to grab that link then. Okay. Sweet. Good, good, good. Uh, yes. Oh, do you need me to get that for you? Yeah, totally do. Okay, I'll grab that for you real quick. Thank you so much, kindly DM Sama. I'm I'm sprinting. I'm running. I'm looking. Master. Classes. Uh, what are you coin? Yes. Okay. One moment, please. In color. Dun 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 dun. dun. All right, here you go. Thank you so kindly. There you go. Beautiful. Thank you. I believe at second level you get uh, Channel Divinity. Make it rain. Yeah, that's it. I got Make it rain. Yep, Make it rain. Make that's it an rain. action. You can, re you can present your holy symbol, and if you do, you can pay up to 1,000 gold pieces. You heal yourself and your allies within 20 feet by one hit for every 100 gold piece you spend. I'm sorry, guys. I'm broke as shit. I'm broke as shit, guys. I'm sorry. Lies. I'm sorry. <laughs> Make it rain gets really good later. Oh, I can imagine. And it scales up. <whistles> All right, let's see here. All right, here we go. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so uh, you guys wanted to investigate this? I think I've made my decision on uh, the next level one spell. Okay, which spell is that? Uh, I'm thinking Grease. That is a very good spell. Yeah, yeah, it sounds good. It's so thematically in line with my character. I love it. I have used Grease before in the past as that spell. Can you send me the link to the spells again? Yeah, I got you. I got you, bud. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Here's the link for the spells. Um, do you remember how to use the filter system? Yeah. Okay, here. Are you forgetting your name is Donsley in here? <laughs> I call them the Donks. There you go, bud. Thanks. He's just a doggy. Dunk on him. Got all that good, 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 good. This pleases me. All right, let's do this. So, Durst, as you approach the uh, the the dead treant, unfortunately, you were not able to get here in time to save it. But make me an Arcana check. I will. Oh, there it is. Eighteen. Nicely rolled. Okay. Much. As you get closer to the tree, uh. So, let me describe this to you. The treant has a vaguely humanoid form, but it's where its chest would be has been ripped open. And it's just been consumed from the inside. Now, the treant doesn't have organs like that, but it has internal mechanisms. As, you know, they're not organs, but they're just the insides of it. And it's been eaten out. Now, here's the thing that gets kind of disturbing. It's that the, the wood has been eaten and chewed on and tore to pieces but it doesn't look like that the creature actually ate anything it just chewed it you see that there is a large pile of uh of wet sawdust basically at the bottom where all of it's just been kind of chewed and 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 just spewed out you also see that there is a thin line of vomit that also kind of covers the, the wooden sludge pile, meaning that the creature was throwing up this need to eat this. It's completely and utterly wrong because it, it it would indicate that the creature wasn't even feeding off of it. It was just destroying it. Hey, uh, yeah, that monkey thing wasn't even eating this thing. It was just trying to kill the tree. Take a look at this. Durst kind of signals for everyone to come over and motions with his hand. Yep, yep. Oh, God, Stinkler. Mm. Oh. <sighs> well, he was definitely right. evil. Definitely oh. evil, Mike. Yeah. Luckily, we saved him from the path of corruption. Uh, yeah. I thought he seemed kind of sweet. Well, the thing about this is, look at this. It was ripping off, spitting out, and vomiting. Like, it didn't even look like it wanted to do this. It was just doing it. And it killed that damn tree. Yeah. We can't completely rule out the fact that the tree prompted this. Maybe it even deserved it. <laughs> nope. Truly innocent. It could have been an evil tree. That's really true. Hey, we should, I, we let's check his wallet. Let's check his wallet. Oh, yeah. Let's check his wallet. The, the tree does... The tree does not have a wallet. Damn. Nor material possessions. And now not even dignity. Mm. Damn. Uh, Arcadum, question. Is this tree different than most of the other trees that we've seen in the forest? Well, if you recall, um, there is a tree like it in the center of the village of the Gekoi. And okay. there's yeah, also there yeah. was also a few of them that you saw whenever you were walking through the forest that I described briefly. But this one is different because it appears to be older than the others. Or at least it was. And it's very close to death? Oh, no. It's gone. It's, it's all. Gone. Oh, it is all, gone. It's gone. Yeah. Oh. Can, uh, be before I forget, can I? Did you already tell us about the weapon that I have, or is that something that I'll need to like? You'll have to identify of... it. Okay, how do I do that? Uh, it takes an Arcana check, or you need to find a specialist to tell you. Okay, can I try the Arcana check? Sure can. Okay, I'll give that a whirl. Drum roll. Ah. Oh, okay. Not this time. Process. Uh, um. Can Durst see that he, Stinkler's trying to look at that? And Durst is like, come on, are you trying to see if that's magical? Wait, yes. don't look down at like a pool cue. Uh, Durst takes it out of his hands and barely holds it up. <clears throat> Durst is going to try and do an arcana on it as well. Okay. Ah, 17. Oh. Alrighty then. Now, I believe uh, I told you guys it was a plus one last time. 
uh, this would confirm mm -hmm. that. However, there's something else as well. Upon further inspection, it seems that this weapon, although it is pulsing with druidic magic, it is actually um, a, a, a weapon that leans more towards um, the paladic energy, so like paladins and like order and law and, and good. It is a plus one great maul. This is a hell of a weapon. Hell, if it was smaller, I'd use it. This is a great, great mace. Paladins can kind of use it from time to time. It's dripping with druidic magic for whatever reason. But I don't know, this is a weird one. One of a kind, really. So, uh, how about her, Stinkler? Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad that you were able to sniff that all out for me. I know. I got an eye uh, for so, expensive things. Now, what do you gentlemen think? Should we take a piece of the tree with us for proof of its death? Listen, I was going to say, does anyone have a bag? I want to take part of this guy. What if what if we, like, is there, like, a branch that's already broken off? Maybe we can just, like, grab that. Because the monkey probably knocked a few off. We don't have to, like, take more away. I'll just, I'll just chomp a chunk off with my teeth. Yeah, we can just blame it on Goker. That's a good we idea. are the demons now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Goker start starts, biting on it. starts chewing a, a branch of the tree off. Uh, let's see here. All right. You have a treant branch. Nice. Right. Uh, this is a crafting material. What? Whoa. Oh, it, can be, it can be used to create uh, a weapon or armor. Uh, even though it is one branch, um, I do I do most of my um, measurements and calculations for crafting as stocks. It's just a catch-all measurement term. So you would have mm -hmm. one stock of treant branch. Uh, of treant branch. So, so we don't need like, more. So so basically, you have enough stock to make one normal sized weapon or one set of armor. Gotcha. Oh. Yeah, I just use can that as a quick way to measure just it. Just chop this whole tree. Up. Can we just chop. Can we just chop away? Well, you can. Yes. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> do you wish to do that? Uh, Goker, you, you, would you want to go for maybe another bite? I, ah, all right. just so we so we don't feel terrible. So we don't feel terrible. Let me perform last rites. Amen. What, what's last rites? I just want to follow along. Amen. Follow along. Amen. I just like, we thank you, oh higher beings, for this we, bounty we, of this dead body. Every, thank you. All right, move on. Everybody. All right, yeah, go, go, go for it. Go, get, take some real big bites. How okay, are going to town on that? All right. right. The party decides to uh, into still the, still the kill here, Durst. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. The party decides to harvest the corpse of the treant. You are given a total of five stocks. Oh, of five branches. stocks. Nice. I ain't dropping. I'm holding. You also notice that the juridic power of the uh, of the Great Mall fades. Oh, oh shit. Hold uh -oh. on. Hold on. Hear me out. Put I'm the sorry. Wood Put the wood back. <laughs> Taco? Uh, we're good, right? We did the little prayer thing, right? Well, I don't think so. It seems when we desecrated its corpse, we've lost its magical element to this weapon. They must have been connected through the ether. Yeah. Probably should have chopped it up either. That probably was a bad idea. Oh, well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of my actions. <laughs> it's still a very heavy item, though. It should still be fine. Yeah, just just li li live and learn is what I always say. And he tastes good. Oh, no, he's <laughs> got a taste for it now. Damn it, again. All right. Well, you've got your stocks of Maury's just going to sigh. <laughs> I guess I'll just... Uh, Go ahead and just um, I'll just give me a second here. I'm just gonna just gonna go ahead and do this now. Oh, holy! It's gone. Y yes, you turned him into supplies. We have him with us, Joker. He's never truly gone. That's true. That is. I true. was gonna say, that's, is, was that's what I everybody wa wanted. 
Durst wants to look around while we're doing. Did we find any acorns or any kind of seeds from this tree on the ground? Uh, let's see here. I could probably give you a chance to find some of that. Ah. I'll do 20 or lower. Not today. Damn! Can Coots look for some seeds? Perhaps his smaller frame? Mm, all right, one more. 20 or lower. Let's go. Not today. Go! <laughs> now, Durst is the searcher. We... <laughs> Two is all you get, slams table. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, sorry. Um, but I'm paying for the pizza. Oh my god. <laughs> that guy <laughs> that guy sits at the back of the table. Should we try and figure out where the monkey came from? You sure can. That's a survival check to try and follow its tracks. Okay, I'll give it a whirl. Ah I <laughs> <laughs> Stinkler yeah. believes that he can't find himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do survival check, you just die on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I always believe a natural one survival means they're just gone. He, he, he fades from memory. Yeah, I yeah. just get lost on my own. It's just the end of Final Fantasy X. <laughs> Stinkler lost his smell. It's worse. It's 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 Doctor it's Doctor Manhattan on Mars and Watchmen. Oh. I I think I had a good idea if anyone else thinks they might have a better chance. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I think I'll give it a shot. Let's see where this, this big old monkey man came from. I thought that was another one. I was like, the entire party dies. <laughs> from a survival check? <laughs> no, it's, it's just funny. Pull up in Resident Evil, you You died. have discovered the entire party was dead the whole time. <laughs> Is that enough for any info? Uh, with an 11, you're able to detect that the tracks seem to venture in this direction. Thankfully, they are big monkey tracks, so they're not that hard to see. Stinkler, however, must have had something in his eye. Uh, Stinkler, I don't, I don't know how you missed this, man, but there's giant <laughs> monkey footprints <laughs> right under you. And I think that's where he came from. No, you're lying. You, you you're lying. You don't know. You don't. Stick. You still don't see them. They're I like massive. <laughs> yeah, I could be I'm from any. Small guy, <laughs> Bro, they're right there. Okay, okay, okay. 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 So, could literally so, be from anything. Please. Okay, so 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 Durst gets on, just starts crawling on top of Coot's shoulders, and grabs a hold of the shoulders, of just the shoulders of Stankler. The monkey was real. It was real. I wouldn't try. These tracks could be placed here by a villain trying to lure oh, us into a trap. Falls <laughs> off the shoulders. Oh no! If, if I might ask, why are we giving pursuit to the monkey? Well, we, there could be more of them. Yeah. We want to find like ten them. of them. I did yeah. notice that when uh, when Durst's hat fell in the river, there was like black stuff in the river. And it was that must have been coming from upstream the river. So perhaps what? there's something that way. So you believe the monkeys are polluting the water with oil, or what do you think the black stuff is? Yeah, I'm thinking it's definitely like monkeys are like they got the central water supply and they're shooting out their magic juice. Ah, uh, I see. We got, that we'd have a far fetch, but I'll follow it. Uh, do you think maybe we should clear our tracks here in case anyone's like, hey, who? Who killed this tree? Maybe we could, so we, we could just make sure that no one can trace it back to us. You know, know that's, that's actually a great idea, idea Coots. I like it. Oh my God! Thank you, Coots. Coots. We did not kill the tree. It was dead when we found it. <laughs> no, 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 no! They're gonna come across well, a tree that's covered to pieces. Okay, they're gonna assume. There's giant bike marks right here from Goker, and I feel like they would probably put two and two together that the monkey didn't do it, and it said Goker's big mouth did. I don't know. And I did sign my name. What if we just put a... <laughs> oh. I left my you... business card on the body. Yeah, Joker it's a right. Joker just... card. Yeah, let's, let's leave a sign in that says Monkey did this, not anyone else. Yeah. yeah. That's that confusing. Thing. You know what they say, Monkey see, Monkey do, right? <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll put... I'll Who put says right, that? I'll write it down. I'll put Monkey killed tree. No one else. All caps. <laughs> Goker was I, even. Goker oh, was oh, here. Oh. Monkey kill tree. No one else okay, did. Wait, wait a minute. Underline <laughs> that so they know we mean it. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Make sure to have the hashtag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. It's. I think it's. I think we're good now. So this oh. is how Twitter started in the U.S. Let's just put a QR code on this, and we're golden. Monkeys have no morals anyway. Mm -hmm. Man, that is true. 
a lawless land. So we're going to track these <laughs> creatures to find out what's happening upstream. Is that correct? Well, that was my thought process. But if you have a better idea, Mori, I, I'm down for anything, to be honest. I'm just well, happy to have this new mace. I am concerned about what happened with this tree, and I wonder if it might be more prudent to alert the villagers to what we have found first. Ah, that, that makes sense. And then we could all rest and recuperate. I believe my magic is a bit tired at the moment. They owe us a bunch of money, too. True. We still need the payment. A giant snake tried to kill me. <laughs> yeah. I got we should get a bonus today. for that. <laughs> Maybe we should go back because we don't have that much food to the village we for a bit. About one, get some more. Exactly. Thank you, Coots. We yeah, have about I think one it's... day's worth of food. Well, let's do it. Let's go back real quick and I agree. give them a quick update. I'm gonna Whoever be all... suggested following the monkey is a goddamn idiot. Yeah, it's probably Joker. It was. It was. <laughs> it, just, it just. Durst is just pointing. But it was. Oh my god. What falls after? <laughs> you must gather your party before venturing forth. Can we leave one of them behind if we really want to, though? No. You must Damn. gather your Bye, party. Bye, Mori. Okay. And the party decides to return to the village. Do we have a quick moment to take a tinkle? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'll be right back. Tinkle time! Tinkle, tinkle. Tinkle, tinkle, little star. God, I love D&D. Right? It's so good, dude. That is not how I was expecting this to start, but we off and running. Uh, you know what, dude? Just you expect the unexpected, right? Uh, I, I uh, hate you. We're on break. I can get away with it. I hate you. <laughs> I want you to know that. Don't say that. Wait. Yeah, you should, actually. You know what you did. I know. We're there. Oh, this guy, this guy's class. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, he's he's crossed with us already. <laughs> Not please. A lot of people really like claps too much. I got a lot of... I got a lot of comments about claps too much. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> Give him the claps, boss. Give him the clamps. Give him the clamps. Yeah, I'll give him clamps. Yeah, we're doing a wobber yeah. off now, eh? Cool. Yeah, favor, yeah. favor, Delicious. favor. Hey, favor. I'm gonna need you to back up from the elders, okay? As you all know, I am a, I am a police officer, Peter. Yep. Ah, oh, welcome back, travel. Welcome back. <sighs> all right. It's my line. My line. Thanks. You. Thanks for playing in my game, guys. <laughs> no, thank, we're thank, having you us on, our, thank you for having us in this game. <laughs> man. Oh, yeah. It's all coming uh, together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all, it's coming, all coming together. together. <laughs> some, the of the, some of the best fish. Warburton lines were in that movie. I don't know. By all accounts, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yes. Uh, boys are for Goose Cow. Goose Cow's boys. Boys are boys. Boys for Goose Cow. The one is when he's running away. Do 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 it seems that you have returned. I hope with good news. The tree is dead. Uh, well, well uh, mo more importantly, uh, we we found a, a giant. Um, how would we describe this monkey, guys? Very sweet. Eek. One of the sweetest monkeys I've ever seen. Well, I, I was gonna say corrupted by evil, but I was gonna sweet, say a little bit evil. Sweet corrupted by evil monkey that uh, appeared to have attacked the tree, but we did manage to um, re lift its curse. A monkey was spared of whatever the ailment, the darkness you've been talking about. It's freed its spirit, at least. We managed to do that, but a problem, a, I'm very sorry to say there was a casualty. The tree itself. Uh, there's nothing we can do. We were there too late. We, we tried like everything to save it. I understand. We had feared the worst. 
but it seems yet another village has been lost to this corruption. Did this creature have a white mane? Do you guys yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was white. Yes. It's so yep. white. I was thinking. Then it seems that you have done a service to us. White Fury has long been our protector of Green Bamboo. By freeing its soul, it shall be able to attend to us once more. Did you see him come back? Because after we freed him, he kind of took off. No doubt he is already going to save those that he can. We right. will see him eventually. But I so can there's tell... no like, stress to track him down? Yeah, no, he's a good guy. He'll be fine. I can tell from your honest visages that it seems <gasps> that my initial distrust of you was misplaced. I apologize, but the corruption has put us all on edge. There has also been reports of eclipse in the area. History check. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. History uh, check. That'd be wonderful. Oh. Ooh, that's a hot roll. All right, Stinkler. That looks like the biggest one so far. What else we got? John can shoot. Couple of eleven. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Thanks, Durs. All right, Stinkler. Uh, although your party is from Calcatesh, uh, you have heard some things uh, about this continent. One of the things that you heard is that within the last twenty or thirty years or so, a massive uh, sort of A uh, war band led by a powerful tyrannical daimyo conquered the eastern kingdoms and brought all of them under a singular rule. This clan or country as it portrays itself to be now, this kingdom is known as the Eclipse. Servants of the dark side of the moon, as the rumors would state. The Eclipse are known to uh, be quite ruthless and tyrannical. In fact, they are one of the reasons why uh, so many of the northern and southern clans are on edge, and why each looks to their neighbor, not for just opportunity, ambition, but also of fear and protection. Are they also Gekoi? Uh, no, the eclipse is well. The eclipse is multiracial. Ah. Uh -huh. It's a. It's it's more of a um country. It's okay, a, it's I see. A, basically, um. Essentially, the how things work in Glaeus is um, it's based loosely off of um, War of the Three Kingdoms, you know, in feudal Japan kind of setup, where there are many different small major family clans which act as city-states that all kind of fight over, you know, resources, power, land, things like that. And they constantly shift in strength back and forth, conquering each other. Uh, one such individual, however, was able to accomplish this very difficult task for the eastern kingdoms and now all of the other kingdoms look to it in fear as of right now this is something you do know um there is a tumultuous peace held in check by Azalon, the archmage of glaeus but there is a whisper of war on the wind bum bum bum, bum. all right and that's what you that's that's how you know that this is concerning to the Gekoi because not only is are the eclipse this far west, but any ver any person of the eclipse will carry with them a lot of power. Uh, mm. Both they might actually have and what they could call upon. Basically, they're the tyrannical, evil, powerful country, and why would they be here? And that concerns everyone. And Bright Eyes will continue and say. The Eclipse has been known to employ spies, and no offense meant you do not look as if you belong here. <laughs> but, as it were, you have proven your loyalty, and that you are good of heart. So, if you might give me a moment of your time, I would like to discuss with you a far greater matter. Yes. Well, I'll be honest, I don't have no idea where I would go outside of this, so I'm with you guys till we get out of this gig. All right, he will gesture towards the large roots, which kind of transform themselves into a table by the by the treant. It's kind of badass. Claps, could you gather some refreshments?
I want to imagine Goker just sat on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Goker, I think you're supposed to sit in one of the chairs around the table. All right. Uh, Claps will return and we'll give out refreshments to everyone. And then Bright Eyes will lean forward and then he will say, Now, I promised you payment and it will be provided. Um, you will find it in your rooms that I have accommodated you. I have also taken the liberty of gathering some supplies for you. And you may also purchase additional ones that you like. I wish I could give you more, but I must care for my people. And now we bring it to the matter at hand. There is a concern that I and the other village heads have had. Not only have we been disappearing, entire villages of Gekoi disappearing in the night, but not by the mist, by something else. We suspect that the presence of the Eclipse has something to do with it, although we do not know for certain. The reports from my scouts have indicated that there is a small encampment by a massive ruin to the north uh, east of this of, of this location. Now, these ruins were once part of the Bramblewood, uh, an ancient place where mm, more sinister yokai once made their home before they were purged by Azalon many years ago. Until as such, the Bramblewood has been more or less abandoned. All creatures have grown back all around it, and it became a place of peace once more. But any such peace is temporary at best, it would seem. I would like to task you to investigate this ruins, find out why the Eclipse are interested in it, and to bring back any reports that you might have. If possible, if you could explore the ruins further inside, it is rumored that Azalon left supplies there, powerful artifacts uh, that he would use as a forward operating base. Although it would seem that his attentions in Kalkatesh drew him away from this. But regardless of that, the Spire of Glaeus has nodes of strength and power throughout the continent. Discovery of one of these could give us an edge in facing this threat, if you can find it. I'm in. <laughs> oh, oh, ancient temple? You need a cleric with you. Well, if Stinkler's in, I'm in. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, go, 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 come on, there's go, money go. to be made. Yeah, uh, what, uh, what if there's a fun monkey you can talk to? All right. Like monkeys. <laughs> it just think, Goker, if it's terrible, you can leave and go, wow, that was bad. I was right. Yeah, that's good. That's mm. a good point. Maury's awfully quiet. You see him kind of very introspective. Coots kind of thinking to himself. These lands are my home. If they are threatened, I will defend them. You're so cool. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the first time he's acknowledged it. All right. In that case, uh, Bright Eyes will nod. Very good. I shall see that you are supplied. Um, if you'd like, I could prepare the shops that you might be able to spend the gold that I can provide to you. Or we can just trade it for those supplies. <sighs> With no lockup. As a businessman, I would like to check out the local establishments. And as a man of fun, I would like to ask, do you have brothels in this village? Yes. <laughs> we, have a, we have a foreigner's brothel for you if you'd like. Hot damn! Enjoy your business, Durst, fool. Damn it! <laughs> I have another question for you, Bright Eyes. Yes. We were able to recover small traces of the tree. I'm curious if you have any craftspeople that can work with that kind of wood. Bright Eyes will look up to the tree ant behind him. If you have recovered the tree ant's branches, I am sure that his kin would like to have them back. God damn it. Son of a bitch, Morty. 
We didn't. We only. We we didn't get that much, right, Maury? How much? Yeah, we only. We only really? found one branch. It was like one. St I would call it a stack of them, maybe one stack. Well, uh, of a single branch, folded over itself. It was. We found a single branch. Yeah, yeah, one stack that has one branch in the stack specifically. Yeah. Right, Maury. <laughs> you just hear the desperation, right? <laughs> Maury will give. Uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Mori will give Stinkler a very long look. Give him what you found. Unfortunately, this is all we could find. It's it's not much, but I would like his kin to have it so they have just a little piece of him to remember, remember him by. It's right. just one of the branches, and we four left then. Bright Eyes will take the stock and will offer it to the treant whose roots will reach out and grasp it. The treant will look at it with a long and mournful face, and then it will speak for the first time. <laughs> and it will speak to Bright Eyes, who will nod. He says that the remembrance of his kin is appreciated, but it would be better that those that avenged him carried them with him. He can make it into something for you if you'd like. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Um, that would be awesome. Now, out of curiosity, if he were to, if we were to find more somehow, would he be able to make more tools? Bright Eyes will look up at the Treant. The Treant will nod sadly. Indeed. I'm gonna find... go check dumpsters <laughs> later, can, can, I think. Can Durst just high-five Coots real quick? Just like... <laughs> Bright eyes will then uh, look down with solemn eyes and will simply say if you are able to recover any more of his kin he would gladly make something of them for you that you might continue to survive in their stead you bring them well, justice after all don't got no more here but yeah maybe maybe later we'll find some more or something like that or something Mori is going to stand up Actually, I found four more pieces. I snuck them into your trash can. They should still be there. Oh my good heavens. <laughs> yeah, wow. He's Maury's right. Here here we go. So weird that you didn't notice they were in your trash can. Bright, just, bright so eyes will look at all of you incredulously. <laughs> Claps too much will will smile, seeing as you have four more? Will, That's good news. She will, she will yeah, congratulate you news. with clapping. Bright Eyes will close his eyes and just <sighs> take the stock and offer it up to the treant. The treant, who is too saddened by the presence of more yet of his kin, will take them as well. What would you like him to make for you? I kind of want a really awesome short sword, like a really good one. What about like an a, like a, a helicopter? What? Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I guess my idea seems stupid now compared to a helicopter. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> a goddamn shield of some sort would be great. And my guns, big guns. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe a maybe a. Could you make something to help me fly? Well, that'd helicopter. be a helicopter. Bright, helicopter gun. Bright, bright, bright eyes this. will will shine with his eyes, and he will say. I believe that you do not have kites, yes? No, uh, no we don't. We don't get that. Not, not a single kite. If you would like, he can make kites for you. That way you may be able to travel our lands. What do oh. we think? Yeah, what do we think? Do we want something like for travel or do we want something more to be used in combat? What are, what are you boys feeling? I want a kite. I've always wanted to have a kite. So I, I have a question above game. Mm. Because the winds have been so erratic, do we even know if the kites will come in handy or have the winds calmed down like since we've gotten back to the village? Uh, the winds have calmed since you've gotten back to the village. Okay. So then I won't even need a kite because I can just poof. You can fly. Yeah. Correct. So at the very least, we have one extra piece that somebody could use. Yeah, I feel like maybe using them more for something in battle might be what I'd prefer. So I'll try and think of something to be... I, I would say maybe if you want... So here's what I'll say. If you guys want to all get weapons for yourself, Mori can get the kite for Coots, 
Or if Coots wants to get something, then he can also get a weapon with Mori's thing. But well, I will you give Coots get your own yeah. weapon. Huh? Should you not get your own weapon? I could, but in character, Mori would get you a kite. Hmm. It's kind of badass. Yeah. So it's totally up to you. But if you guys all want to get weapons, Mori will get a kite for Coots. I'm pretty good on weapons since I have the uh, monkey mace. Would it be possible to turn one of those into a shield for Jurst? Uh, the well, the stocks can be turned into a shield, armor, a weapon, or a tool. Or a uh, kite. So we each have one to use, then. Maybe I should get a shield. I'll probably go with armor, then, at that point. I think I have the highest HP pool, right? So armor would make sense. Hmm. Okay. Can I get a combo staff kite? Are you thinking like Aang from Avatar? <laughs> Straight up from uh, Aang. Yeah. Nice. That would actually be really good. Uh, that is a trick weapon. Uh, you can get that made if you'd like, although you will need special training to use it. Where do I get the special training? You'll have to actually train story-wise. Like you'll have to find somebody who knows how to fight with those and then train with them. But the a staff kite is an actual trick weapon. Okay. But I would not need training for a regular kite. No. Yeah, I'll do that. Which one? It's combo staff kite. Because I, I would do I need training to fly or to attack well, with Well you you do need training to fly, but you're you're gonna learn that from Mori. So I was gonna say okay. I got you, kid. So so I, I I would have a basically a kite that could act as a staff if I had the training, but one day I could get the training for, it, but it's still a kite. Yes, sir. That works for me. All right, I'll make nope. you a staff kite. All right, I got uh four four left. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that shield. I need that shield for Durst. Alrighty, shield. Three mm. left. Dang, should I get a shield or a dagger? I thought you had a dagger. Yeah, but maybe I can get a better one. That's true, you could dual wield. Dual wielding. Is that good to do? <laughs> if uh, you're a rogue. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> dual, okay, so to, to answer your question, Donkey, um, dual wielding allows you to make an attack with your with your bonus action, uh, but the attack does not add your modifier without a fighting style or other support. So it's a it's a very weak side attack, but it is a secondary attack. All right. Uh, how does the shield work? Uh, the shield is a straight bonus to your armor class, making it more difficult for you to be struck in combat. I'll just go for a shield. Alrighty. Now, using armor as a sorcerer, does that come with any drawbacks? Uh, you don't have proficiency in armor, which means that uh, uh, you'll take certain disadvantages on things if you wear it without uh, proficiency. Well, that's no good then. Can I... Uh, hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll use it for a tool then, because there's no reason. Like, I, I couldn't make like a wand out of it to make my shit stronger, could I? Or is that, does that exist? Yeah. Oh, well, that makes more sense. Then I'll do a wand. You, you can make a foci, specifically, which is a, uh, which is an implement that you use to cast through. And that would just be like a, how does that work? Is that just like an upgrade to like, how well, frequently my thing each hit? of these, um, each of these. Okay, so now I can explain what the tree and branches like special properties are. They will not start off as magic weapons or armor or anything, but they are very light. So that's their that's their initial perk. So uh, you don't take any stealth penalties using them. Uh, they basically weigh one pound. They're very very light. However, as time goes on, these um, these tools and weapons and, and things like that as you gain experience and as you progress and with each passing day your natural life force will leak into them and they will eventually develop magical properties they they grow with you 
in a quite literal sense. Mm. Well, that definitely sounds better then. So yeah, I think like a cool, what was it, foci? A foci. Uh, okay, so you have uh, the, you have three foci you can get. There is a gnarled branch, a vine gauntlet, or a wooden mask. Well, I definitely don't want the mask. And the yeah, Stingler. you're too beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Stinkler is just too beautiful for that. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the gauntlets, do they come with any like benefits? Is there pros and cons to each one? Are they all just kind of the same? For right the now, the foci um, do not do anything for you because they must become magical first. But they do have a faster progression than the other items since they don't do anything for you at the beginning. I'm thinking the the gauntlets. Then I think that'll be kind of cool. Fine, trash gauntlet. hands. All right. I'm actually thinking about mine. And could I actually craft an instrument or something? Maybe you could. Yes. Uh, which instrument would you like? Uh, maybe a guitar. <gasps> yeah. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Okay, I always guitar. thought we'd go the uh, Vuvuzela route. What kind of guitar would you like? There is a sitar, which is like the um, like the Jap. I think that's the Japanese one. The samshirin, which is like the Indian guitar, or you can go with the Western version. Give me the give me the Western. All right, Western guitar. Would you like the? Let's see here. Uh, where is it? The Adultini, uh, the Swamp Guitar, or the um, <gasps> the Dabarak Guitar. So, Dabarak Guitar is like flamenco Spanish, and the Swamp Guitar is a banjo. Oh, give me the give me the flamenco. All right. All right, you got it. You've now got a guitar. Classic yeah. acoustic guitar. That is badass, dude. That's very light, too. It is. Does Goker know how to play guitar? Yes, he is a bard. Okay. <laughs> bard <laughs> equals yes. Dude, he's, pl he's playing Clash of Dover right now. If you're a bard, you're basically Prince. You play every instrument. Flamenco. All I'm right. proficient in music. As you uh, as you gain levels, um, Goker, like basically as you progress through the story, Whenever you sufficiently gain enough life energy into your into your guitar, you can actually learn specific performances that are only available for that guitar. And you can also discover uh, ballads, songs, and other things that are uh, found within Gleas and intricately dispersed throughout history. So there's lots there's lots of story growth points for that and abilities you can unlock. All right, that sounds cool. Yeah. Alrighty, so you got your instrument. Uh, you've got your foci. Uh, Durst has a shield. You've got your mm -hmm. staff, uh, Coots. And Mori, what would you like? Uh, can Mori let the tree keep his peace? You can. Uh, so Mori is going to turn to Bright. Do we have the pieces of the tree in our hands? Or does the, does the... Oh, you gave them to him, and they're got offering it. to make things for you. Bright eyes, was it? Yes. I have not earned the right to wield a weapon made by this tree. I would prefer if it kept it as a memory of its kin. Bright Eyes will look up towards the treant. The treant will smile and then will place the branch onto itself. He's so cool. He's so cool. That was pretty noble. Uh, Mori is going to bow. I apologize for taking so many pieces. Bright Eyes will uh, return the bow in the trance place. And then it will say, Well, I believe that you have earned your rest and relaxation. The brothels are open to you. Food will be prepared, and lodgings have been provided. You can also visit our various shop faces if you wish. And in first light, we shall prepare your supplies. Well, then I am going to head off shopping and shop around. Anyone like to join me? I go with. Alrighty, two fine dressed lads. I'm going to a brothel. Does anyone want to come? Oh, I'm all set on that. I was hoping, Mori, if you're not too busy, you could show me a bit on how to fly. <laughs> I would be happy to. Alright, so now we're going to do downtime stuff. Okay. Yeah. Rubs hands together. 
Uh, so first things first, the first bit of downtime, Mori will teach Coots the intricacies of flying in Glaeus. You gain proficiency with a Glaean kite. Coots, that's what you're going to do for your four hours of, uh, Fuck yeah. of freedom. I got you, baby. Yeah. All righty. Durst and Goker, you are spending your time scouring the shops. And as such, I need each of you to make me a persuasion check. Hell Ooh. yes. Oh, God, do I get that with advantage with my boy? Hold on. I need to read my guy's character sheet. <laughs> Where is he? Hmm. Persuasion. Uh, you have advantage because they're your people, Goker. Oh. Roll a second time, I think. Yeah, roll a second time. Go with the higher result if it's higher. That'll work. Yeah. Go! All right. While scouring the shops, you're able to find that there is an apothecary that is willing to sell more because Goker is one of his people. And as such, you are able to get a higher selection. Okali Dokali. The party is awarded a bonus gold as well because they cleansed the monkey. So yeah. the party receives, I believe, a thousand gold pieces total. Wow. That's wow. Like pretty good. Yep. It's 62 before, right? That all, sounds like all, a big all, all together? Uh, that's total. That's for all okay. of you. Okay. All right. So with your thousand gold pieces, you can choose which things you would like to buy for your party. Uh, so you have a list of potions that you can purchase, Ooh. which there are the regular healing potion, which is 50. Here, you know what? I'll type these up and put them in. And put them in uh, the chat for you so you guys can kind of deliberate on it a little bit. Because you're about to go on your first actual dungeon. So this is the prep phase. So make sure you spend your money wisely. Alright, so the basic potion. I guess that is part of the name. Dungeons and Dragons, yeah. Yeah, I was hoping ah. we could avoid the whole dungeon part, you know, just have a good I was, life. Uh, I was, you know, man, I don't know, man. Why don't we just hang out with a bunch of sexy dragons? <laughs> so you're attracted to dragons? or? Listen, any powerful lady is sexy, okay? Okay. That's kind of true. Mm -hmm. This guy right here. I would love to be the man. Oh, how I would love that. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm, uh, I'm typing it up for you guys. Thank you. So you have a proper... So, Goker, do you know this guy? Like, you're talking, you're talking to lizard language. Are you friends, family? Yeah, me and this guy go way back. <laughs> How far back? Oh, I, I once got his uh, ship out of a. He was in a tight spot. I had to slay a Rengar beast. Oh, I don't even wow. know what that is, but damn, what a kill! Yeah. I actually ended up throwing a. I picked up a sword with my tail, threw it right through his eyes. Damn, right through both at once? Yep. Ooh, he must have been pissed. Yep, that's why I'm level 10. <gasps> mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the auditory equivalent of hole up. Hmm. All right, and here you go. This is your selections. I put them in the group, uh, in the in the chat and Discord. Uh, in this Discord, okay. you have you have a thousand gold pieces. Your selections are: you have basic, greater, and superior healing potions, all at those prices. You have a haste potion for five hundred gold pieces, and a frost giant strength potion for seven hundred and fifty gold pieces. I trust your discretion. I'm going to uh, go to the bathroom again. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh no, too much water! Oh no, he popped the cork, it's all no, over! I, I, I ate some spicy shit today, six million Scoville in my stomach's been paying the price. Ooh, oh, oh my no. god! <laughs> yeah, so
If I'm not back, you know what happens. Stinkler, he, he had a good run of things. I'll, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I, can't I had a good run. If I don't make it, it's all I good. I can't believe Stinkler died <laughs> on the toilet. All right, like well, Elvis. guys, we have a thousand gold, and, you know, we should probably be pretty smart about our money here, so maybe not buy anything yeah. too expensive. Uh, what yeah, did you get, Frost Giant. Frost Giant what? Potion. You, wait, you bought no, one, no, Gopher? No, no, no. Like no, I didn't get it yet. I'm just thinking, you know, I'm just thinking in my head. Well, 150 gold. So if we get, let's say, let's break it down this way. Okay, so a superior healing potion, 6D, 4 plus 6. Uh, yeah, yeah. Above game, uh, I think we get a, I think we should want to take a couple of greater healing potions, uh, maybe one superior healer healing, and then I fill up with basic. So the superior, I don't think it'll do a lot for us at this level. I think no. getting a couple basics and a couple greater. That's what I was eyeballing was a bunch of base, a uh, bunch of graders and, and fill up the rest with basics. I, I would say sound crazy, but I think we should get a frost giant strength potion. Wild. <laughs> so, no, 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 no. I love it. Madness. Pet. Come on. C Coots. Why does Coots want that frost giant strength? And then one greater healing and two basic healings. Call it a day. I, I would do, I would do a basic for everybody that's got HP under 20 and then uh, a greater or two for myself and uh, Stinkler, who I think are over 20 now. Just in terms of resource management, I think that'll get us the best bang for our buck. Yeah. But what about the Frost Giant Strength Potion? It could be Dude, goaded. if it That's... wasn't that much, I'd be all over that. No, 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 no. There's no reason I, I, it's that much. A potion yeah, seller? Is what, is the, what does the Frost Giant Strength Potion do exactly? We have a bit of an argument. <laughs> I'm not even there. <laughs> okay, let me... <laughs> this is all being in character. Potion seller! <laughs> oh shit, I wasn't even doing my voice! Bugger Jeller! What are you buying? What are you selling? <laughs> what are you selling? Alright, so the Frost Giant Strength Potion, whoever drinks it, for one hour their strength becomes 23. Oh, we gotta get that. We gotta no. get that. It is really good. 23? It... That's all. No, tell you what. Tell you what. If, if we do well, we'll come back and buy it. If you guys think it's a bad idea, I'll trust you. I, I I I worry about if we if we get it. So let's do some math real quick. Because that <laughs> that wipes us out. If we get that, we can get we can get one greater healing and two basics. Yeah. And I think that's it. Yeah. So okay. if if you guys really want the frost giant potion because it's you want to like punch shit really hard, I'm totally down to let you guys do it. But we would only get, I think, three healing potions out of that. If you think we can do with that and the one that we have left, by all means, I'm not gonna. That leads us with four potions. Correct. I think and it's Eric who can heal. I yeah. got two, I got three heals. So I, I haven't selected, selected my third spell yet, but I, have, I I only have three uh, spell slots essentially. That's assuming so... he doesn't do any DPS, which we're gonna need him to. If we no, that's my total to death. I mean, that, I got tran trips for that. Like my, my my spells are all healing because I am the healer. But gotcha. this is in case I'm not near you. There's See if you can haggle to get a lower price. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, I mean, we tried. Uh, um, a shopkeep, shop potion seller. Mm. What? Well, recently we went to that. He would explain the story about taking on, going to the tree, and how he chopped it down. And like, you no, know, not how he chopped it down, but how they faced this great beast. <laughs> you know, how we killed the tree a second <laughs> How we time. faced this great beast and how we are, wow. of course, proceeding forward now to go help out, bring we... the corruption, add more business. And I tell you right now, if you could hook us up with a couple extra potions, I mean this, we can get this overdone quicker. We'll still pay for them. Just can you lower the price of the graders? Just, just, I feel like we just need we to could do an more. ad read on our oh. next journey. <laughs> I mean, you could say the Goker was here. The Gekoi will narrow his eyes at Durst. And then in the Gekoi language, he will look to the Goker and say, The small green one thinks it can haggle me. I've already lowered the price as much as I can for you, brother. Does this thing speak for you? Hey, this guy, he's a loose cannon. I can't, I can't really speak for him. He's kind of a psycho. But maybe you know, just just to just to entertain him. Literally, Durst yeah. is literally doing the same thing from anger management. The smile going. Ah! 
you know, you never know when this guy's gonna lose it and get violent. And you know, I think maybe just maybe throwing a couple free potions, you know, <laughs> give us a deal here, and you know, nothing horrible is gonna happen here. So, so he threatens him. <laughs> Make a perception check, or excuse me, persuasion. You got this. Come on, baby. Throwing a couple posts. Oh, hey! oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. The honeyed words of the Joker. Or excuse me, Goker. Apologies. The honeyed <laughs> words of the Goker will kind of wash over the merchant, and he'll nod. Fine. If you buy the Frost Giant's potion, I'll give you two basic ones for free. Oh. Oh. We got to go for it now. Got to go for it now. He said he'll give us what for free? Which two? Two basics. Two basics? That's a really good deal. That's a good deal. Let's say. Well, Goker, take us, take, seal the deal. Take us home. I'll, t- I'll take the deal. All right. He'll hand you the Frost Giant potion and then two basic healing potions next to it. And you have expended 750 gold. You have 250 remaining. And Rhythmbot is dying. Uh, what is happening with Rhythmbot right now? Okay, I'm it's, 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 flamenco music. I'm gonna, Rhythmbot was lost at sea. We've never, it's I'm, never I'm recovered. Gonna, I'm gonna just Rhythmbot really going through. Really, Rhythmbot really phoning it in today on its phone all the time. I don't know what. I found going a ten-hour flamenco mix. I'm just imagining Goker playing it if you guys want. <laughs> nice, <laughs> excellent. You joke with like the the, the climax of the, the movie. He starts the battle with that, and everyone looks around like, "Where is it coming from?" Uh, should we keep any, or you guys want to just buy the last potions, like one greater, t- two three basic? More. Uh, what are you guys thinking? Let's survivability, baby. Just do one greater, two more basic. Might as well. One greater, two more basic. Let's load up here, so we can all walk away, except for me with a basic, and we can give the two graders. To the he to the two frontliners and the uh, the 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 frost giant strength we keep in a locked key safe away from Goker. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> He's got a taste. I don't for like it. that. Oh no no hold on no hear me out. <laughs> it was great man. Thank you so much for scoring us an extra potion. All right, I'll take another two greater potions and a basic also. Nod. Could I get that in a pay? Could I get that in a plastic bag? Help blink. He puts it in a oh. basket and hands it to you. Close Thanks. enough. Hey man, that's reusable. Can I get that in a tips plastic? his hat as we leave? All puts right. it in a bag of holding. Wait. Wait. Okay. And then that'll be an extra four hundred gold. You have successfully shopped. Are you back, Charlie? All right. As you go to the brothel, so a couple of things about the Gekkoi. Uh, the Gek- to, Gekkoi uh, to the Gekkoi people, uh, sex is not a sacred thing like it is for many different cultures. So literally a Gekkoi brothel is a, is a common thing. It isn't looked down on. It's just literally another business. And as of such, they are very good at it. So as you go to the brothel, um, since you are there for, you know, by Bright Eyes Treat, they treat you very well. Your character gains inspiration after a sufficient boning. <laughs> Woo! Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, magic so triggers go wild. Inspiration allows you to re-roll any d20 roll that you make. Like at any point in time? At any point in time. That's nutty. Why would you ever want to re-roll a d20? Or is that just re-roll the dice? Re-roll the yeah. die. Not like a, like if okay. you roll low, you're just like, I, I thought about to re-roll a 20. No, 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 not, not re-roll if he makes a 20. No, it's uh, right. re-roll the die. I mean, if you really want to, I guess you could. Yeah. I, <laughs> get another 20. I suppose that's, that you think could of a do flex. that, but, you know, just, I'm a just saying. All right. Yes. So you are sufficiently boned. Nice. Is there any risk of, like, pregnancy, or did I re <laughs> Well, actually, uh, actually, actually, I have rules written for that. Um, no, there isn't, because as it just right. so happens, the way that uh, get coy females work is that they are resistant to that. So. Resistance to pregnancy? Uh, well, essentially how I've read it, uh, wrote, uh, wrote it, to not get into too much detail, um, the get coy, when, when it's their mating season, they have an enormous, like, village-wide orgy, and the 
<clears throat> insemination process goes over several different males in which each of their different uh, excretions are like combative viruses that fight each other in the thunder womb. And then they become pregnant. When does that happen? And can I come back to compare? <laughs> I was going to say, did you say the thunder I, I, womb? Where we're putting, I'm putting money on him right now. This man is a grade A fuck, okay? <laughs> Thanks, uh, thanks, so, thunder wombed. In, in in other in other words, uh, that is not their mating. It is not their uh, breeding season. Got it. So they hit the off switch. So so essentially, when it's not their breeding season, uh, which is like one month out of the year, that there is you, you can't get a get quite pregnant. You you really can't. Nice. All right. Well, that's good then. God, so many people probably think I'm weird because I wrote rules about that. No, uh, no you are thorough, sir. Yeah, I appreciate the thoroughness. You, you, Ho hopefully we can visit during the Thunder Womb Well, I based, thought, yeah, I, based it, I based it off of, you know, actual animals. Bro, critical, you got to get past Thunder Womb. Yeah, that's going to be my Gordian <laughs> I, 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 I can't wait. I wait for Fury Road, though. That's going to be wild. Mm. Mm. Fury Child. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> Fury Child. Oh God! All right. Anyway, there you go. And so your uh, your four hours of freedom pass, and then the party rests in the Gekoi village of Green Bramble. Everyone receives the benefit of a long rest, and at first light, uh, Bright Eyes summons you. Bright Eyes summons you once more into the council chambers, where you see that you have been provided each of you with a backpack. And each of you have also been provided a kite. Not a special kite, but a normal kite. We'll accept the Terran. Who doesn't need one? Uh, let's see here. You are also given full camping supplies and three weeks of rations apiece. Oh, yeah. Three weeks a... apiece? Yes, sir. Wow. He's got it loading us up. a lot of weeks, yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to make a separate another, thing for my supplies. Hang on a second. Yeah. Need another snake. Let me get a document open real quick. Where are my word stuff? Uh, also, we should divvy up the potions just so I know what I have personally. It's cool. I won't take any of the potions because I am the healer. So what I'm thinking is the uh, you, all you other guys take one, but the two melees take the two graders. That's it. That's the only thing I can think of for the order. Uh, so that would be Coots gets a greater, I get a greater? Yeah. Okay, so I have a greater. Do I need a greater? Do I have enough health to use a greater effectively? If you use the greater, that means you have next to no health. All right. So you got, I think pretty much you would have a half heal and a full heal. Uh, you should also take the strength, the, the strength potion, because mm -hmm. Mori probably wouldn't use it, and you're the only other person that uses strength as their attack, I think. No, the mage could do it, uh, technically. Uh, yeah, I would say I would say Stinkler is kind of our our carry, so he should have it. I probably won't use strength though, because even when I run out of level ones, I'll probably resort to like infestation and cantrips like, and stuff. Yeah, one right. of us, the frontline fighter, should have it. It's, and I, since it was your idea, I say you'd be looking pretty badass throwing punches at twenty three strength. I'll go for it then. He's gonna punch a dude out of his shoes. It's gonna be also. Awesome. It was your idea to grab it, so good on you. Uh, greater healing potion. Um... Okay, and then how many uh, miners did we get? The lesser, the normal ones. I think we have four. three. Four. No, I thought we got... We got two for free, and did we buy two more? Yes. So we have four total, plus the fifth one that Goker had that he threw up. I thought he used that one. Uh, he threw one up in my mouth, and he threw another one up into a vial that I don't think he's used yet. I bet it tastes like Kool-Aid. I bet it does. So we have five. So we so could Goker... all have one of those? Yes, yeah, so everybody should have one minor, and we'll have a greater apiece. Okay, okay I'll take I'll take a minor as well then. Yep. So everybody should have one minor healing potion. Or that works minor. for me. What I can never <sighs> basic. It's basic. May I never use it? Um. So everybody's got a basic. We've got greater. That's one D. That's two D four plus two. This is. Got it. Rations. Uh. All right. I think I'm good. Sorry. I want that was just the housekeeping. All right. Sorry, chats. Crack me. I was like, why are you giving it to the monk? They don't use strength. Like, bro, yes, they do. Monks. Yes, use... they do use strength. Also, it was his idea. So, L mm. LOL, monks with strength kill everything. All right, thank you. Yeah. 
I can hold it for you if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear I won't drink it. Drinks it immediately. <laughs> He drinks like, it. He drinks it for a strong emotional. He's like, man, halflings are dumb. <laughs> Why don't you just? He's got a taste ten... for it now. He that keeps was so getting, good. He keeps getting taste for stuff. All right. Great. I like the taste. We, we also we still have that map. We still have that spyglass. Uh, mm -hmm. Do we have any gold left over or no? We had the sixty bucks. So we have sixty gold pieces left. Oh, the money uh, I think Goker made through all through, through all his pocket checking. Got it. Uh, all right, water. All right, I'm good. All right. If that's the case, the party is ready. Yes, fully supplied. I think so. Either. Oh. Uh, yuppers. Finally. Let's go. You must mm -mm -mm. gather your party before venturing forth. All right, at the behest of Bright Eyes, Morning Spray, the chieftain of Green Bramble, our heroes set out from the village towards the northeast to the ruins of the Bramble Forest. All right. As I said before, this is actual dungeon time. Let's actual fucking get it. So the use of your uh, the use of your supplies um, will be obviously tracked. Or you'll be in a dungeon, and all of what that means. Oh man, I am so ready. Classic dungeon crawl. Let's go. All right, let me get all this together. I just want to make sure I got I got one minor and one greater potion on me right now, right? Uh, you have two miners, because uh, you manage. have the one you regurgitated, and you have the one that we gave you from the five. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, right? No, because we got four. Two free, and we bought two. So everybody's got one. You just have the one you regurgitated. Oh, dude. Okay. Another critical slapping video. I'll watch that later. <laughs> critical <laughs> slapping video? Excuse well, me? Who'd you, who'd you slap? No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's the pro circuit. I, I was just enjoying the, the beautiful sport of slapping. <laughs> Competitive slapping, yeah. Chalk their hands up pretty uh, question. hard. Question, you also said we had an explorer's pack. Is it, did I hear that correct? Uh, or some, some kind of pack? A full camping kit. Camping kit, got it. What up? It's your boy, Ambien's here. <laughs> Alright, don't... I thought you were about to say Ambien. Don't fuck it up this time, Rhythm Butt. Come on, baby. Hey! Here we go. I hear it. Go on. Keep down. There's something hunting us. Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, let me know when you're loaded. Loading, loading, loading. Let the ASMR take you to the jungle. We've got fun and games. <laughs> the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. And after you have loaded, you will move into the shrine of the silver monkey. <laughs> now that's classic. Right? <laughs> this should bring back all mech. Dude, I miss Legends of the Hidden Temple, and then Guts was the other one that I loved on Nickelodeon. Yeah, mm. Guts is kind of hard. The they aggro crag, I was like, man. Hmm? I think they brought back Guts. Uh, is, are these are these game shows? Yes, yeah, they yeah, were on yeah. okay. I'm sorry, as the Canadian, it's all subpar to uh oh, all subpar to uh oh. What is uh -oh. that one? Uh oh, it involves slime. Uh, Sinclair would love it. They actually have a thing where if you fail, your friend is covered in goo. That's good. That's, that's, that's literally double there. No, but they like, but they they started it. Shift the eyes, I think. Uh, are you sure about that? I'm pretty, yeah, pretty sure know. Canada's Gosh. invented the concept of goo. I'm pretty sure uh, that's I believe not. that. I don't I know. I don't know if I trust a country that asked for its freedom in 1980. Why won't 
Why won't, you, why won't you take a country seriously when our dollar is called the loony? Oh, my God. By the way, I'm in. I'm, I'm in. in as well. yeah. uh, sorry, that was my uh, American showing. Our money is different colors. Oh, hang on. Wait. Why is it? Oh. It's loaded. It's on 83. It's like 99% loaded. Come on, man. Just wait. There it is. I was like, wait. <laughs> you guys loaded or is something wrong? Yep. Good? Oh, okay. I'm almost in. Almost there. Just waiting on the gook. I'm in. Come on, gooker. You can do it. I'm very slowly putting a leaf. I'm like stuck on a leaf. Almost there. Oh man, that rain. That sounds awesome. Yeah. I really like that. That rain. just come on. I didn't hear that yeah, when yeah, it started. It just, it just activated. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know it had yeah. rain in it. That's awesome. I mean, that's all right. So now we're in the rainforest. Well, you basically are. All right. You're in. Everybody in. We good? Yeah. Yep. yep. All right. Ah, it is intolerably moist around here. Ugh. All right, the party makes its way through the dense jungle of Glaeus until finally they come to an opening up ahead. Uh, above your HUD, it says Bramble Hollow. Sorry, Dark Souls thing. Anyway. We're in the right place. Okay, where is the bonfire? All right, when you get to this point, um, you see that there is a large rock outcropping, and there is a statue here. The statue appears to be of a woman offering a uh, offering an offering bowl to the sky. I'm going to go over by the stitch. Hmm. All right, Stinkler, as you approach the statue, uh, you can see that the offering bowl is filled with all sorts of gunk and discarded food, and all sorts of things, where once this was used as an offering bowl, the temple has long since fallen out of use, and now it is not but a collection of garbage. This is a place of power. Oh, beautiful. I thrive here. All right, you may use this place of power in order to restore your spellcasting abilities once. Okay. Well, obviously you don't want to do it now. because No. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's definitely save that, man. Does this restore key? Uh, no. This is something that he can do because he taps into garbage and refuse. Yeah. Right, right, this right. Would, this would not be useful to you, no. Stinkler, I got a empty Gatorade bottle if you want that. Yes, please. Right <laughs> again. Thank you. Wasn't uh, besides just recharging spells? Wasn't there another thing that I could do in a, a place of power like this? Uh, yes, as time goes on, you can even enact special abilities, and you can also expend a place of power to guarantee a magical, uh, a random wild magic event. Okay, per but only in that place of power, right? But on well, you could infuse it into yourself. And then the next spell that you cast would cause it, but oh, okay. But that's a that's like a very careful move you'd have to do because you'd give up a full recharge for that. Okay, gotcha. But it is an option on the table for you. Okay, I so should I, I should point out to remind you that the wild magic table is in your favor, meaning that there is a smaller chance that something bad will be rolled. Oh, thank goodness. Good, 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 good. So I don't think there's anything that I could use this for now unless I wanted to... Well, could I do something like cover the entire forest in grease so we skate around? Not that I think that'd be overly beneficial, but... You'd have to no. roll You'd have to roll that in the Wild Magic if you want to do something like that. Okay, it's so, probably not worth it. Yeah, so essentially it's a full recharge. Right, right now it's a full recharge or a guaranteed Wild Magic event. Those are the two things you get to use it for. Okay. Um, I think I can just save it for now, then. I don't... Just or... remember it's there. Yeah, and then try and maybe come back if we need it.
All right. Well, for, no yep, for now, then, I, I guess we can just continue forward. Sure thing. All right. All right, remember, I the map is active, so wherever you go, that's where you go. Wait, what does that mean? What does that that basically mean, means if you trigger a trap, he'll let you know. Right, okay. Yeah, basically, yep, wherever yep. you are is where you actually are. Which means if combat starts, that's where you start. Uh, can I investigate? Is there another statue? Is that what this looks like? Okay, as you start to enter the Bramble Hollow, you can see that there are these vines here looking thing. This, These are thick trunks. These act as walls. Got it. So it's a maze. Something like that. Okay. When you get Could to here, I... you can see a large plant that seems to be wriggling and snapping out with its vines. Yum! What is this? Nature check Any... to identify that. Any flying allowed in this area? Uh, you could certainly try. That... Tr That's I an eight. Alright, as you attempt to take off, you're able to get a little distance, but the the wall, the um, the ceiling of this room is covered by dense foliage, and there's really nowhere that you can fly to. Okay. All right, with that nature check. This is a man strangler. No. Oh man! Oh, thank uh, goodness! Least... Thank goodness I'm a goblin. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm a halfling, so I, I'm just gonna walk by here. Uh, so First, you should be able to go up to that and uh, essentially yeah. this is a uh, environmental danger if you move if any creature moves into the area of these vines it will attempt to restrain them and choke them to death and then eat them excellent huh. yeah she should not go in there no I, yeah no I just I got a bad bad energy from that all right Did when you get... Mori and coots make it uh they didn't step into it at least I didn't see it Oh, is it only on the the right side it, over here? No, it's yeah, it's only it's only on um where these roots are. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, Mori and Coots move ahead, and they find themselves standing in front of what may at one point have been the temple's uh sort of entrance hall. You could see old like an old statue, broken and disheveled. Another offering bowl. This one, however, is empty. There is also a large hole here. Does it look like there used to be a well of some kind? It looks as if at one time it may have been, yes. Um, is there like an underground pathway that would maybe take us out of this maze and go into a cavern? Is there a way to look down there? Uh, as you look down there, you can see that there does not appear to be any cavernous expanse, just an empty well. Got it. This place has long been abandoned. Everything is in ruins. Uh, Unless you, you say abandoned, I say reclaimed by nature. The horrifying Goker, nature. Make me a dexterity saving throw, please. Uh oh. Uh, oh, oops. I'm doing a skill throw. Boom. All right. Goker, you get to the edge of the well. The rocks begin to twist and crumple from your weight. Uh-oh. And the lip falls away. However, you roll high enough that you're able to grab onto the edge and prevent yourself from falling into the well. Would anyone like to assist him? I would oh my love God. to grab him. Everyone. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I feel like, there's... Come on! Oh, my God! No, 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 no! Don't get so close hey. to that. All right. I'm not I strong! Got... Someone's strong! Help me! Uh, I'm here, I'm here. Maybe we should stick as a team, guys. I don't know why RhythmBot's broken, so if you just look in the RhythmBot channel, I'm just going to post the thing, and Got you it. guys can just play it on your own. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. I'm falling in. All right, Durst grabs Goker's hand, and Coots grabs the other one, and you are able to pull Goker out and away from the edge. Ah, thank Woo! you, guys. Okay, okay, I'm going to in now. <laughs> what? You jump in? Yep. Okay. What? Well, one second, please. <laughs> Hang Don't on. Jump in the air, of the air! He's gone. Coker, can you hear us? All right. Well, hold on. As you uh, jump down, let's see, the well is 50 feet deep. Oh. Uh, I can give you a little bit of. Forgiveness on the fall damage since you're going to land on soft earth. 
Uh-oh. Emphasis on kind of. All right. Oh. 11 points of falling damage. Oh. All right. So let me explain how this works. You you fall into the bottom of the well, and you fall on top of a thin layer of sludge. The sludge is like rotten plant matter and water. There's nasty yeah, down here. Are you, are you okay, Goku? There's nasty down here. There's sludge. Stinkler, do you still have that garbage rope? Yes, I do, in fact. We're going to have to fish him out. Well, first let's ask if he wants to come out. Goker, do you want to leave the hole? Yeah, it's scary down here. I think he Hold said that no. Thought. Perception checks, guys. I think it might have been a yes. A perception? Okay. Oh. Sheesh. All right, nice. Stinkler, as you are yelling down at the Goker and the Goker yells back up, Woo! you notice that your you and Mori notice that your voices seem to carry. There is the sound of shuffling coming from this direction here. Uh, excellent. Do I have dark vision? Can I see anything when I look down there extra? You can clearly see that the Goker is standing about, about shin deep in gross... Mulch water. Goker, Stinkler is going to lower a rope down to you. You need to grab it and move quickly. All right. Here she comes. All right. As you throw down the rope, the Goker climbs up it, and you pull him up as well. And as you pull him free, this time you see that the Goker's uh, legs are covered in leeches. Um, Goku, sure. don't, don't look down. Well, let's, no, no, let's don't, do. don't do it. All right. Uh, I'm looking you see. Okay, so, um, does anyone, can anyone do any fire? Okay. <laughs> we gotta burn these fucking leeches off. I, well, I was gonna ask, do we have any torches as part of our camping? <laughs> I have, I have news. Yes. Okay, so the leeches are going to, over time, cause damage to the Goker. Oh, if God. you remove a leech and you remove it improperly, the Goker will take damage. If you remove it properly, then the Goker will not take damage. Um, there are... Let me roll how many leeches there are. Oh, boy. Seven oh. leeches on the Goker. All right. All right. We try to remove these properly. Well, I have a, I have a suggestion. What if I used Mage Hand to reach into the leeches and peel them apart, uh, peel them out with the Mage Hand? Would that be more delicate? That would be delicate, but a roll would still need to be made. Would I be able to brace Goker while he did that to essentially use the aid action to help him? Absolutely. <sighs> does All anyone? Right. Okay. Does, uh, uh, um. Does anyone have salt? Salt. Does anyone have salt in their pockets or in them? Do we have the rations? Is there is there salt in the rations? Yeah, there's Can salt I, there. What if I made salt no. with pressed uh, digitation out of whatever's nearby? I think you can <laughs> actually do that. All right. Salt, 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 salt kills leeches. We need salt. Can you make some? Well, yes, yes, I can. Uh, do your uh, churning, wizard, please. Of course, of course, of course. Goker, you can look down. It will terrify you, though. Yep, 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 yep. That's a lot of leeches. Do oh. I have to cast press the, press the digitation? Well, while you're trying to figure out what to do with your friend, that shuffling comes into view. Okay. <gasps> oh, no. Maybe they like leeches. Um, Goker, don't look behind you either. All right. A harrowing wind begins to blow. ha, ha, ha. I feel like this is not the best jump, I will say. <laughs> Man. You get you needed to double jump at the last second to not take any damage, dude. Yeah, that is how it works. It's a cancel. Mm. Shit. I don't know what to do. All right. <laughs> oh, it's okay, man. I'm in a lot of those situations playing this game. Oh, boy. Here we go. So we got a man making salt. Well... I don't necessarily have to. In fact, I have a plan. I could grease the terrain and get them to fall in the hole. 
Yeah. <laughs> then I jump in there. Yeah, and then oh, go no. through. Oh. I mean, finish him off from the top turnbuckle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got to do the elbow drop. Ooh yeah. <laughs> Ooh yeah, diggy. All right, I link you the battle music. Ah, well, all right, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Stinkler, Smelgor, you gain initiative. Okay, uh, I don't have grease in the attack options here, but how exactly does that work? Could I grease the battlefield and get them to slip and slide into the hole? All right, so grease works like this. Within 60 feet of your position, you can summon a pile of grease that looks like this. It's a 10 foot square. It looks like that. Oh, hold on. Hello? Yeah? Hey. Yep. Hello! Hello. Uh, hold on, I'm getting a call from Tiffany. Hold on. All good. Ask her if she wants to go in the hole. I think she butt dialed me. Hello. Oh, I'm gonna fuck with her a little bit. I am into this song. Right? Can you do a song on YouTube? Uh, it is. Do you, do you mean linked? I mean, like, Sorry, I had to scare her a little bit. Oh, yeah. Just you just right click and hit loop. You're oh. <laughs> <laughs> Although I think the, I think the track. Yeah. It's... Run it back. Uh, I had to scare her a little bit. All right. We ready to slam? Yeah. yeah. yeah still, well, we, you're ready to jam. We, we do martial checks, right? Yep. You can do it at the start of each of your turns. But yep. that's, yes. what a, that's what grease looks like there, Charlie. Okay, and I don't control where they slide. Is that determined by a dice roll? Uh, well, they just fall prone in that area. They oh. don't actually slide unless they're at a uh, an incline. Interesting, and I assume there's no inclines here. There is not. Okay, I'm trying to think of a way to get them into this hole. I, I feel like that'd be the speed run strat. So I'll start with a martial check, though. Okay. Nice. Noise. Solid six. Mm -hmm. Oh, infestation. I could get lucky. How, how far do they travel on infestation? Was it 30 feet? Uh, infestation makes them go. Five feet. Oh. Which will be like this much. Ah, I see. Okay, so a bit far away for that. But if they get close, then you can maybe hit one of them. Yeah. All right. Um... Could I create an incline with Mold Earth and just set it up you for could. two turns? You could. You could. Okay. Then uh, I'll, I think I'll probably go with that play. So I'm going to try and set this Home Alone booby trap up. I'll go with Mold Earth. And how far does that expand? Uh, I think it's a 10 foot square. 10 feet, okay. Uh, and I, I have 30 feet to move right now? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna go on this side of the hole and I'll mold earth uh, probably about right here. Right cover there? This. Yeah, cover this. Is that far enough to have them slide in if they go there and I can reset? Uh, okay, for optimal use, the best shot you have of actually pulling this off is if you do it here, because if okay. they get close and you grease this, then they could trip, fall, and then actually slide into the hole. Then yeah, I'll cast Mold Earth there and create that incline. You got it. Goker. Uh, I'm gonna do the, the Marshall roll. That's not 
good. Uh, I'm gonna do vicious mockery. Wait, wait, the thing's not set up yet, is it? The grease trap. Not yet. Not yet. Alright, uh... I'm gonna use animal... F talk to animals. Uh, on what, what animal? On the zombies? I'm gonna try to talk to the leeches. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, here we go. Yes, here we work. go. Here we go. That's, That's a great hey, idea. Okay. Can, I, can I interest you in leaving? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. You get you cast talk with animals. All right, hold on. I gotta. This is insane. This is all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> you cast uh, talk with animals. Yeah, what do you want? Hey, uh, I think you guys got enough blood off of me. Uh, could you? Could nah, you we ain't got enough. Blood. We ain't got enough blood. We're too thin, Holmes. <laughs> what about uh? I got some. I got some other guys that you're gonna like. Oh yeah? Are, are they in my here? mouth right now? <laughs> no. No. Oh, looks like I, you got to come up with something better than that, homie. Do you like cheese? Yeah, I like cheese. You got cheese? What kind of cheese you got? I got a four bricks of cheese coming in. Four bricks of cheese, huh? What do you think, Capo? Mm, I don't like the cheese. What else you got? Do you guys like pepperoni peppers? By any chance? <laughs> pepperoni peppers. <laughs> I love that on my Quiznos. Uh, pepperoni peppers. I like peppers. Yeah. Hey, hey, you got any pizza? Oh man, I love pizza. Hell yeah, homes, give me that pizza. I got a big pizza stash coming in. Pizza stash. And I just, I just tell you this, guys, because I'm your friend. Normally, I would never talk. Hey, about this. you ain't a fucking friend, Cabron. You are a piece of meat with blood in it. What do you boys think? That pizza sounds pretty nice. I don't know. It's up, it's up to you. What do you think? What do you think? You want to do what he says? You want to detach here? Mm, he looks like he's panicked. Mm, he tastes like he got some weird shit in him. How many potions do you think he drank? Like four. Come away. What was the mummy's way? Fine. We let you go. But you bring us the pizzas. If you don't, next time you take a bath, wet there. The leeches detach from the go. -gurt. Oh my god. <laughs> How many <laughs> rations? I knew that would work. The leeches detach from the goker and roll back into the well. Before yes. the last one goes, it looks back and it stares oh God, at drop. you. They... And it goes inside. <laughs> Durst doesn't even know what to do. He just holds his hands up. What, what just happened? Well, this we're going to have to get a lot of pizzas once we're done here. Goker, you might be the most special individual I've ever met. <laughs> I don't know why I made them... Uh... I was gonna say, dude. <laughs> I don't know why I made them that, but it felt right. I I can't explain it. It's like a cartel of leeches. I don't I don't why, know why I made them a Mexican cartel of leeches, but I don't either, dude. It was awesome. <laughs> I thought it went really well. That, I was it's down really, with it. It's really for the comments to discuss, I think. I dos mio. I dos mio. This one's blood. This ho ho. Check out the go loco. Forget those no mames, we cabron. I, I would have, I could actually imagine the leeches staying on because this dude's had a lot of health potions lately. Oh man, that shit tastes so good. Is that his whole turn, or does he also get to attack too? Because there was a lot that went on there. <laughs> my fa my favorite booyaka, part is that booyaka. my favorite one is that the people who are like fans of Iron Mouse are probably just losing their shit right now in chat. Because <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I actually learned. Um, like I studied a bunch of Spanish so that I could actually talk to her in her uh, in her character's native tongue, which is Aquan, which I made Spanish. So when I talked to her as like a Spanish demon, I actually spoke mm. Spanish to her. It's pretty good. Mm. Holy That's shit, good props, man! Nice. Well, I, I did that so that she would get to talk Aquan, but we'd actually be able to talk to each other, and it seemed like another language. Yeah, it's That's insane. really cool. It's though, I like that. You guys hear my fan? I just turned it on. It's really hot in my room, so that doesn't bother. No, me. you're good, dude. No, nah, dude, all your fans are hot. Oh, nice. Wow. All right, Goker, you successfully uh, <laughs> nah. you successfully convinced the uh, Royal Blood uh, Cartel to 
unhook themselves from your body. Yes. Yet another debt added to the ledger. <laughs> uh, day in the life of. Uh, what else would you like to do? Uh, could I also use... I don't know if I should use Vicious Mockery. Is that going to pull the zombies too fast? Uh, you would... Uh, unfortunately, you, you already used your action to cast the spell Speak with Animals. Oh, okay. So you'll have to... You have a bonus action and move. So you have Bardic Inspiration you can move. Uh, I use Bardic Inspiration. All right. Who are you giving nice. the finger crossbows to? I'm going to give it... What does it do? Uh, it gives <laughs> it gives them a... Uh, it gives them a die, in this case a D6, but it does scale up later. Yeah. Now, for, it's actually for up, very useful. For up to 10 minutes, they can use that, that D6 to add on to an attack roll or saving throw. Or another check. Well, does Stinkler have to... Does he have to, like, stay in this position right now to set up his tramp? Uh, he has to be within 60 feet of it. Yeah, so I don't have to be this close, but I was just trying to use my body as, like, a, a lure as well. Uh... Maybe I should put it on Durst, and he's got low HP. I'm a max HP. <laughs> I know, but your max is... Maybe I should put it on... Can I put it on myself? I'm pretty low. Uh, you... I believe you cannot. I think you can only put it on other people. Alright, I think I'll put it on... Uh, who's a good guy to put it on? I'll put it on Durst. Thank you, you very it. much. Finger crossbows, would you like to move? I would love to move right now. So no, no, first... no, no, Goker, Goker. Ah, damn. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna move back here. Okay, next we have is Mori. All right, uh, catching what Stinkler is throwing down, I'm gonna move into position here. Is this considered a square right here? Or yeah, you can stand the there, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ready an attack if anybody comes within range of me, but I'm going to see if they'll use me as bait as well to go over this mound. Okay. Durst. Yes! Durst is going to step on down, see through the vines. Can I target this zombie here? Uh, the one straight in front of me? I'm going to try to draw mine. What, what, that one? Yeah, that one right there. That's a wall. Damn! Okay, well, Durst is going to move a little bit more then. Hey, Taka. Yeah, what's up? It's the start of your turn. There's something you can do for free. Just saying. Special <coughs> check! I, no, no, no. I, I didn't turn my button down. Is it? Yeah, it's partial check. Boom! Five. Uh -oh. <laughs> Unfortunate. Boom! Five. Boom! Five, baby. Alrighty, so... If I get on these rocks, can I see these cop these uh, undead coming? Yeah, you can get up here. Okay, well, Durst Five gets up to see elevation. the... Alrighty, because then Durst is going to target the one in the middle here uh, with Toll the Dead. Yeah. Toll the Dead! Oh, 12 wisdom safe. No! Takes eight points of damage. No! Oh, it hurt. Did it already take damage? It took I, two. I so. made save! Oh, shit! Oh, yep. no! That zombie's dynamite! <laughs> dynamite. Coots. Yo! Okay. Um, I have a plan. I want to... How far can my uh, dart go again? Uh, 30 feet. Okay, so can I walk... Can I walk where Mori is? Or am I not allowed to be on Mori? You can't end your movement there, but you can walk through his space. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, God. Oh, here, God. hold, hold, here, hold, hold. Sorry. I, hold. I put my, here, here, I hit hold my on, hold on, don't, him. don't panic. Don't panic. I got you. There you go. Hey, okay. Can I shoot my dart from here and then back up? Yes, you can. All right, I'm going to go. dart up. Uh, let me hit my quick marshal check, though. Good man. How's that? 11. All right. Kind of powerful in a way. An 11 will reveal to you that these creatures are mindless. They will attack the closest enemy. 
Okay, perfect. Then I would like to dart uh, coughing dead seven. You got it. Take the throw. Gee. Oh, righty. Coughing dead seven. That, unfortunately, will bounce off its undead hide. Tink. <laughs> oh, okay. All Oof. right. Then I'm just going to back up here. And am I allowed to moon the enemy to entice him to walk into the strap? Showing him your ass will have little effect, for it is dead and no okay. longer cares about the eating of ass. True. Such Coots does it anyway, hoping it has some effect. <laughs> Man, <laughs> excellent. This is how Coots dance. What is not wearing underpants? Oh, here we go. <coughs> how dare. Hey, it worked. They're falling for the trap. All right, they will stand on an incline awkwardly. That's their movement. This one will attack Mori. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Critical hit. Oh, awesome. And it will deal nine points of damage. Ow. Well, I just got crit. In addition uh, to that... Does my attack go off when he gets in range? Did you ready? Yes. Uh, yes, it does then. Okay. Uh, do I hit with any bonuses for them being on the incline or not yet? Because they're standing still. Negatory. Copy that. Regular uh, swing. Cord. Uh, it's a 14 to hit. That will miss. Son of a bitch. Oh, God. All righty. Okay. A couple of things oh. to keep in mind. Their hungering claws ability has now been uh, revealed. Each time one of these, these undead creatures successfully hits you, they receive a plus one to attack and damage. Okay. Hmm. I will mark the ones that have empowerment. And they didn't fall in the grease trap or what? The grease trap is not active yet. yet. Okay. It's a two-turn trap I have to lay. Got it. Well, I'll keep them here. I think. Yeah, you just need to hang tight. Okay. Stinkler Smelgor. Okay, I'm absolutely using uh, Grease now. And grease I will grease the incri uh, Incline. Oh, the right. Incline? Alright, here we go. Let's grease go, it baby. up, baby. I'm drawing that for you right now. Grease? Let's see if Fortune's on your side. Come on, baby. DC on. is 11. Fail. Pass. Fail. Yeah. Fail. Yeah. 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 All right. So it seems that seven was the one to make it. These two fail and they fall prone. But because they are on an incline, they will fall prone into the well. Those fools fell right for the old Stinkler trap. Uh, nice. How are you going to be so dumb fun, dude? Like a dumbass. 16 I would points fall of your falling trust, damage. Wow. Are they still alive? Can they, like, climb out? All right. Uh, they will just fall in the hole. They cannot climb, so they are effectively defeated because they can't get out of the hole. Nice. Uh, Boys. Goker, you will hear echoing... Far down inside of the well. Hey, bro, this is not a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. This one falls down. And then double soft, baby. Remove these from the fight. Okay. Well done, Stinkler. Your trap laid. Uh, however, Grease is a first level spell and that means wow magic yes sir not this time Fuck. all right what? what would you like to do next um i'll move back just a little bit since we don't all need to crowd it now Okay. I'm all good. 
Okay, 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 okay. I'm okaying. I'm slamming. I'm jamming. I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. I'm really feeling it. Goker. Alright. I'm gonna do the martial check again. Not just that. Any good? Oh, crap. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do vicious mockery. Um, <laughs> the, the dude in the coughing dead seven. That one. All right. Uh, I'm gonna bust out the guitar here. Oh, I was, uh, you! I was hearing. I was. I was listening for it. <laughs> this. This is part of the. This is part of the insult. All right. Uh, I haven't seen uh, coughing dead uh, this bad since I was watching uh, The Walking Dead. <laughs> that was the good turn. Nice. Nice. The creature is confused. It's not walking right now. That's literally half the name. Excellent. Hmm. <laughs> Mori. Uh, I would like to five foot step over here uh, and attack the guy who's prone. You have advantage because he's I prone. I sure do. Punish the Let's weak. Go. Kill him. Kill him dead. Hey. Roll again. Hey. In case you crit. Yeah. Let's uh, hit it one more time. Finish it. Hey. Oh, better. Right. Well, yeah. I hit the other one because it's higher damage. No, you take the highest one. Uh, Damn it. Five damage. Why did you hit me, Billy? Durst. Because you are a bitch. Because you are a bitch. <laughs> you are a little bitch, Billy. Bitch boy. Durst going big. Yeah. Is it my turn? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I, sorry, I didn't hear you. I think uh, you were cutting out on my end arcade. I'm internet's been fucky all day, though, so. The, uh, Durst is gonna. <laughs> Durst is gonna try and move over. <laughs> And, like, l try and lure... You know that zombie who was just hit? The one who's standing right there by the edge? Yeah. Durst is gonna yell... Just yell at the top of his lungs. And hit him with a thaumaturgy. As a matter of fact, goes... He's gonna hit him with a thaumaturgy and said, This way! <laughs> Alright. You scream at the zombie with thaumaturgy. Wait, hold on. Did it, did it do anything, Durst? Hold on, hold on. About to find out. <laughs> How loud is Thong? It's yelling like, ah! Okay. One moment, please. Oh, oh no. Oh. I got a feeling it's going to backfire on us. What in the world? I might have fucked up, guys. What did you just do? I might have fucked up. Uh oh. Huh. You may have triggered some kind of avalanche. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Coots. All right. Uh, Coots would like to run over here. Great. Um. And what? hit him, you got oh, advantage. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Beat his ass. if I want to use any key, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to keep my key and just go for a uh, short sword attack. All right, I'll roll again because it's uh, prone in case you crit. Okay, first one will hit for nine. Good work. You may also... And then I can make an unarmed strike, right? Yes, sir. Bonus action. Also rolled at advantage. All right. Crit. Easy. Ooh. Almost. One more time. All right. Six damage it is. Whoo, lad. That's a lot of damage. Since he's on his uh, ass. Can I walk away without having a, one of those 
walk away checks? Uh, well, he will still get an attack of opportunity, but he will make so it, he will make it at disadvantage. Uh, I would love to just just hide a little bit behind Mori here. Accurate. Just Hold right on. here. All right. Attack it with disadvantage. Miss. Nice. Good work. <laughs> dodged. Brr. 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 All right. Dexterity saving throw for this one. Make. Brr. This one will attack Mori. Uh. And we'll miss. Woohoo! This one will attack Durst. And we'll hit Durst for five damage. Damn! Uh, shoot, okay. Okay. That one is now empowered. Stinkler. Infestation on these guys, does it, it won't do the poison damage because they're undead, but will it make them move? If they fail it, yeah. Okay. Um, you guys will finish uh, coughing dead six. The other one's full health. I'm going to try and get it to fall into the hole. I'll cast infestation and see if I can get lucky and make it fall. All right, constitution. It will fail. First step down. Sorry about the yawning. I've been doing oh, this a while. Oh, all good. It's a long day. <coughs> Let's see here. 1d4. So we're looking for... A 1 or a 4 here. Let's go! Ah, oh. bitch. Bear. Down he goes. Well, it was a good shot. I'll, I'll just stay here. Uh, I think that's good. Directions built into the macro. Where? It already. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. My bad then. Four. Boom, boom, boom. Give it another deck save. See if it's. That's not enough. Yeah, yeah baby. Goes. Aki! Not the pizza! Bonk <laughs> Yes! Thank you, you saved my life! Anytime, Durst. Don't say that, I'll take you up on it every day. That's all my turn then, baby. I'm good. Goker. Uh, all right, I'm thinking we, we want to end this with style. Now, would it be possible for me to pick Stinkler up and throw him at the Coughing Dead Six? Possible? If you were strong enough to do that. Dang. Looks at Goker's strength. You are not strong enough to do that from this position. Okay. Well, maybe I could I pick Coots up, perhaps, and throw him at the coughing dead. If you rolled well on an athletics check, I suppose you could. All right, I'm doing it. That's not good. Oh, no. All right. You grab Coots, <laughs> and you pick him up to throw him and miss. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Coots, make me a dexterity saving throw to grab the edge of the well. <laughs> oh my god! I must remind you there are three undead in there. Yes, the whole undead! Why though? What? We were doing so well! Oh no. Can I reach to grab his hand, please? Because I'm right by the edge of the. <laughs> yeah, does anybody get a dexterity? Uh, I, I, I can reroll it too. I can reroll it too, right? Yes, because you're Gamberborn. All right, all right. Oh, all right. you lucky dog. Come on. Okay. Please. All right, all right. Oh, please. I'm sorry. No! Ah! No! Uh -oh. Goker, why? 
Say hi to those guys down there. Oh my no! god! Uh, uh, okay, go crowd. Ah! Ah! Now, I have a question. How much damage did those j zombos take when they slapped into the ground after 50 feet? Ugh, 16. Alright. Uh. Okay, Coots. What's up? <laughs> Why did you take you 19 know? points of falling damage. Oh, no! I don't have that HP to give. No, the maximum. He's already he's dead instantly. That's not good. <laughs> uh -oh. Perhaps when I fell, the potion in my pocket shattered, causing it to go into effect. Okay, so. Oh, God. What is the distance of cure wounds? So I guys, can't... the best enemy that Arcanum could come up with is just the party. Okay, no, legit, legit here though. If you get me down on that uh. rope, I can cure wounds him out. Okay, so a couple of things. Hi. Yeah. Uh, hi. We're in the hole. Uh, for elevation and tracking purposes, this is what being in the hole looks like. Okay. So, this is what happens. Goker, I need you to make me a persuasion check. All right. This is for the leeches. Oh, please. That is not sufficient. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, cabrón, now that's a pizza. <laughs> oh, that's not fuck. a pizza. That's oh, my God. Pizza. I've got a, I've got bad news, Coots. And also, somewhat good news. The good news is, is that these creatures do not have Ruthless. So they will not attack you while you are downed. Oh Thank my god. However, god. you are unconscious, face down, in sludge water with leeches eating you. The party has- Is that like a problem? It is. The party okay. has three rounds to save Coots as he will automatically fail his death saving throws. Oh, fuck. If it gets to the third one, he dies. All right. Oh, a, so he I doesn't a, get saved. Uh, it's just every round he counts as a failure. That I have correct. a plan. Does, normally he would roll. He does not get to roll because leeches are draining him. Got it. Okay. Goker, Go, don't... you unfortunately have failed to throw your halfling friend at uh, the undead. Would you like to take any other actions? You have a bonus in the rest of your move, if you'd like. Does anybody else want to get thrown for the attack? No! <sighs> Could I go over here and hit this guy with a dagger? <laughs> with your bonus action, yes. Alright. <laughs> That's a one. Also, a huge not one. All right, now make me a dexterity saving throw because you walked into the grease, Goker. Oh my uh, god! Oh my uh, god! Uh, oh no! That succeeded, so you do not fall into the hole, too. Uh, that would have been. Afraid of grease? Come on now. <laughs> Man. Mori! Coot's literally the family guy flop position. God, down. why? Okay. It was all going this... so well, too. It was! Alright, I need this to be over. I am gonna burn Fighting Spirit, so I will have advantage on this attack, and I will get plus five temporary hit points. Okay. Um, and then I will swing at the guy in front of me. Uh, 17 or 18. 18 for 8 damage. He is yep. make fucking mega dead. Good. As he dies... Uh, you will watch Mori cut the head off of this zombie, glare at you very angrily, and then it is a bonus action to administer a potion, correct? Negative. It is an action. Shit. Yeah. Um, is it a bonus action to throw one down at him? Uh, it is, but he it won't heal him. It won't heal him. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have a plan cooked up. We can save him. Yeah, well, we got, we, I, I believe in our creativity. We, could, we, we have... We have the passion. <sighs> um, all right, sorry, that'll be that'll sorry, be turned. 
I don't. I don't. I don't. Oh, I, this uh, went poorly. Why? It was fine. We killed three of them. Maybe we can fill it up with water. I. He'll float up. He'll float up. <laughs> Have you heard of drowning? <laughs> That's a strategy Mac and Charlie had, and it's always sunny in Philadelphia. All right, Durst, your turn. Durst. All right, now for my action, what is the what is the range on healing word? Actually, I'm curious. You said it was a fifty. It, I'm pretty 50. sure it's sixty. It's fifty feet. Is it? So. Yeah, you said this this pa this hole is fifty feet, right? It is. Oh, and the range is sixty feet, so you can just heal him with healing. Word. I can, but there are zombies down there. That's true. Yeah, so don't do it yet. I'm thinking I'll mold Earth on my turn to lift him up, and then you could heal him above the zombies because he said they can't climb. So it should be if fun. you okay, uh, oh, I can't make the game, but okay. Uh, if you want to do that, you want to go to the strategy? Want to do that? Try to get this shot. Kind of what I was thinking. I mean, that's yeah. not meta game. He's talking to you about it. That's fine. Yeah. No, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, so sounds good. All right, let's try and do the, the one, two. All right, so yeah. you're readied. You want to ready that action? Yep. Uh, so I'll get near the hole. It's no, I'm talking to Durst. Do you want to ready that yeah, action? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going to ready that action. All yes. Right. Coots, one fail. Coughing dead. Can't climb. Stinkler. Okay. Uh, mold earth under Coots, lifting him towards us. All right, you're able to lift up Coots uh, out of the sludge. Slightly above the uh, the Zambos. I hit him with a healing word. Healing word goes off. Go ahead, roll healing word for me. Absolutely, dude. Come on, baby. Six. A hey, Coots, you're healed for six. Yes. Let's go. Welcome Boom. back, baby. Yeah. Thank you. Oh God, what happened? I just remember uh, Goker we picking me up and throwing me. A there was a zombie that came and pushed you from behind, but I took care of it. Go, go. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> it's your turn. All right, I'm gonna, uh... 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 I'm gonna... I'm gonna do... I'm gonna jump onto the platform with the coots. Is that possible? Tongue, that is. Tongue. All right, I'm jumping on there with him. All right, you slide down the wall. You have a climb speed, so that's easy enough. Could I pick him up and get him out of there, perhaps? Yep, and you have yeah. the climb speed for that. All right, I'm bringing him out. All right, Coots is grabbed by the Goker, and the Goker kind of shh up the side of the wall. And now that the party is safe... Oh. I always feel confident and comfortable in your hands, Goker. Oh, shit. This battle has come to its conclusion. We did it. You've never done me wrong before, Goker. Thank you for saving me. <sighs> no problem, kid. Hero. All right. I'm my hero. Take a moment to decide how you will recover from this fight while I go to the bathroom. I would recommend a short rest so he can roll some hit die. Sure. <laughs> hey, Sinkler. Sinkler. Maybe. Good teamwork there. You moved That's... him into range. It was easy. I'm not gonna lie, you're you're an unconventional wizard, but you you make a you do you do good work. Oh, thank you. It's all the garbage. I simply use it to the best of my ability. Well, you know, do I still have leeches on myself. You sure do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Goker, talk to them. Yeah, go we're gonna, go, 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 we're, gonna go. we're gonna deal with that when he gets back. I <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Honestly, I was expecting a fight to break out with the maggots inside the zombies, and we those... were doing so well too. Like that was a really good plan, uh, critical. I thought when you yelled that it was gonna about about to bring out like eight thousand more people. That's yeah, what we, I was worried about. What did it do? We I, don't know. He we don't rolled. know. I we, just, it could have done that. We don't know. They might he, be on their way. You kept rolling. I do not forget. For what it's worth, we do have those little things that keep out the undead out of houses. So if we can find a place where we can place that seal, they can't get in technically. So if we're surrounded, we have a kind of a fallback plan, so to speak. But we need to have a threshold so they can't cross. Yeah, makes sense. I'm going to fill up a water real quick while he's doing that. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go right, some water, too. Short, short, re short rest makes the most sense because the hit die will save the potions. Yes. Be right back. Awesome. I'll, uh, I will hang out here with everybody.
Hi, guys. What up, Arcadum's chat? I see you now. Yeah, I always stay with you guys. It's a lot of highs. <laughs> Hi, Batman. <laughs> no, we are not doing the Bosco halftime show on Arcadum Street. That's a Wednesday thing, guys. Oh, God. This is like an episode of Under the Red Hood. It's bonk. Donkey, are you still here? Yeah. Oh, hi. I'm trying to explain uh, the origins of Goku. The <laughs> He was Somebody born in a asked. vat of chaotic evil. <laughs> well, they were asking about the inspiration. They said if he was inspired by Joker, but that wasn't actually right. What was the inspiration? Well, I looked up, I was reading a lot of old mythology, different cultures. Mm -hmm. And it's very sophisticated and very, it's very advanced and nobody would actually understand. Oh, got it. So basically, you you looked up old ancient cultures and and picked and chose yeah. from all those. Nice. And I pretty much read like all the old ancient texts from around the world. Dude, how did you get your hands on those? Oh, yes, in the museum. I did have some hints of the story of Gilgamesh in the character of Goker. Yep, yep. Gilgamesh definitely drew on some influences from that. Nice. Very nice. And none at all from Batman, I imagine. No, I have I have never seen that. He's never even heard of Batman. You've apparently. never seen you've never heard of Batman. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, yeah I, it's honestly, the... it's not one of Marvel's better characters. I I feel differently than you guys personally, but I can see that perspective. Do you think Batman's one of Marvel's better characters? I would say it is not a Marvel character. Got him! Dad, how could you? Got him! Why would he you came lie back to just for that? Like that? Next, you're gonna tell me Iron Man's not DC. That's messed up. No, the uh, character went to Washington DC in the second movie. I know. That's what I'm saying. He's DC mm -hmm. all the way. God bless you, Ed. God bless you. Can we kill you? And what games can we kill you in again? By the way. Uh, Doom. Good. Uh, good. <laughs> good. Twice. Good. Go ahead, I can kill you twice. You can kill me twice. You can kill yeah, me as a marauder, and then you kill the icon of sins. It's, it's double, double, double your Bosco death. D double, double the dip. Yeah, double the dip. <laughs> I'm also the biggest pain in the ass in that game. Oh yeah, there's that one. There, I remember I, I was bitching to you in Discord. The initial uh, fight where he comes through the portal. Yeah. It's, no, that that it, fight was that fight was baby bitch easy. If I go to you first round. Um, but uh, oh, the, the okay. later the optional fight later on was difficult. That one. Uh, the, there's that one. Fight two, no, that's the expansion where you fight two of them. No, there's there's one in particular in a very I'm small back. room where you fight him. That that's a problem. He can close in who quickly. What up, Arcadum? I'm back. Hey, hey, hey. What's the plan? Short rest? Uh, so I we were thinking a short rest. rest I'm curious. What is that wooden thing you see over? We see the statue, but there's a wooden kind of like almost like half a, what do you call it? A bodega or a. You mean this? Yeah. yeah. That right there. Yeah. Uh, that is a Shiokai shrine. Where are you guys seeing this? This right uh, here. To the, I think it's upper left. Oh. You mean this right here? Yeah. yeah. Was... Yep. That's a minor shrine. A minor shrine. Okay. Okay, so FYI, <laughs> you just got the leeches on, Coots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get those off. Would Somebody you like to bargain with them again, Goker? I know these guys. You know, right, okay. I know these guys. Well, 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 well. Look at that, compadres. It's the fucking gecko back again, huh? What, you got a problem with us feasting on the pizza you dropped for us, Holmes? Fellas, fellas, you gotta, what you gotta understand is this is not a pizza. This is called a halfling. This Those is much... The leeches look at each other. Um, hey, my, my name's, my name's Coots. Can they, can they understand me? 
Can they understand me, Goker? This, I don't... this thing keeps making weird, yakky sounds. We don't like it. Basically, what he's trying to say is that he's not pizza. I come in peace. So he's about to come in pizzas. The lasers are driving him mad. He's making no sense. Coots, you're pissing him off, Coots. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bro. I'm trying to work. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I was trying to be. Gosh, let me just. Well, let me just. Over I here. feel like God, I can. Dude. I feel like I can sway them. All right. What do you want to say to them? Get off of me, and and we'll be cool. All right. All right. Let me translate that. All right. Leech is basically what he's saying is if you get off of him, you'll be cool. And he's got pizza. He's got a connection. His uncle works at a pizza place. Cabron. One time we already did this for you, huh? You say we give pizza. Then you say he not pizza. Then you throw a bunch of dead fuckers on top of us. You know what I say to you, Cabron? Maybe we drain this affling eye, huh? We just drain his ass dry, and then what are you going to do about it, huh? I'll just Did throw him back in that well. I don't care. D d is it going good? Yeah, we got him on. We got him right on the ropes. Awesome. <laughs> Editor's note. Hey. It wasn't. It was go ahead and bring <laughs> it. Who's doing a pain <laughs> thumbs up? That's great. It's my only hope. Yeah, you go ahead and dram dry. I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but if you want pizza, then you're gonna have to let them go. The elites is, we'll look at each other. We're talking deep dish. They look I'm at each other with bunkies. wider eyes. We're talking pepperoni and onions. Oh! Whoa. Oh! 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 Don't Come on! Hell about that deep dish! That's Chicago, man! Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it, hey! All right, loser man. You listen to her. You listen up, eh? You All go. Right. You get the deep dish. You bring it here. You bring it here right now. You get that right deep now? dish. You get that deep dish. You bring it here. Me, my my compadres. We eat pizza. We let little halfling go. That's how this goes down now. All right, but I'm gonna need you to get off of him first. Then we'll go get the pizza. Then we'll come back. And we'll leave him here as collateral. <laughs> Alright, the leeches will detach themselves and surround Coots. Deep dish saves the day! <laughs> ah, it's really strange that they've done that. Oh, well, good. Just try stomping on him. <laughs> 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 that problem is solved. Moving on. I need the brown! Alright, you step on the leeches. <laughs> Alrighty, problem solved. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> once, once Joker is done getting the leeches off of uh, uh, Coots, Mori is going to approach him. And you are going to get a death glare from Mori. Uh oh. Deep down inside of the hole, you hear. Ave Maria. <laughs> <laughs> Please Joker. continue. Goku, I need you to listen to me very carefully. All right. You have stolen. You have tricked and you have lied. And I have looked the other way. But what you will not do again is put one of us in danger. We are a team. Is that understood? Yep. Good. Swear to me. <laughs> Swear to me. Uh, Mori, I think you got it wrong. Goker's the one that saved me. Anyway, where are we going next, guys? <laughs> that is true. I saved him. Good. And you broke even for the day. That is a good question, though. Where are we going next? There seems to be a path to the left. Hey, guys, we broke even, right? Yeah? You, you save him? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm telling you right now. We can go over there by that shrine. Maybe we should rest up a little bit. We all took some nicks from that. Yeah. I'm fine with that plan. I'm gonna take a nap. Uh, yeah, I'm down with a short rest. All right. The party goes to short rest. Uh, oh. And then as the animal speech fades, the Goker over here is in the hole. I knew these boys. I knew each of them. 
They were amongst us. They were good boys. Know this, Maria, that I will find who did this. I will find them. I will punish them. I will drain them dry. And it will be a sanguine festival. Oh, it's never good when they say sanguine. Oh my sanguine God. festival. Oh, boy. I think we made a powerful enemy today. <laughs> dude, those are like, I've, I've seen sanguines, dude. They're like Dude, this was like completely like different. Bigger. It cut away from us to a whole really well shot scene. Dude, he, Arcadum had one destination involved, but now the last boss is just going to be an army of leeches. <laughs> Episode 10, we're just going to be slicing through I leeches. I do wonder how much he's had to throw out because Bobby, of this so far. Listen to me. We will find this Goku. We will bring him to me. We will put him on his knees. He will beg for forgiveness from Licha Maria, and he will not get it. <laughs> and then, as an Ave will play for him, we will put him in the soil. Go and find him. Bring him to me. So one of you guys like throw like a like burn that whole well in there. <laughs> <laughs> Can one of you cast Fireball? <laughs> no, no, this is where you ask Stinkler to cover it up. And problem solved. Yeah, Moving on. Reata Maria. Oh, rock on it. Problem you solved. Know, I am a righteous man. <laughs> Technically, yeah. Durst killed them all. Oh, oh shit, that was that me. That's all right. I'm, I, I'm willing to risk Goker's life over you stomping them. <laughs> that's a uh, risk that's so, brave take. Of you. so brave yeah. of you some of you may die but that's a <laughs> risk but that is a risk I, I am willing, willing to take, take. <laughs> it, with Lithgow that is a sacrifice I am willing to make I've right. made many sacrifices in my life well, anyway uh, at the end there. can we roll hit die to, uh, sure. to, to yeah, heal up for ahead. those of us that are hurt sweet what's it called uh, you roll hit die I think it's one of the buttons that we have yeah. right? would it be healing uh it's just your your level hit dice. So for Got Durst, it. it's a D8. For Coots, it's a D8. For Joker, it's a D8. For uh, the Samurai, it's a D10. And for Stinkler, it's a D6. Easy enough. In, in Seven. brackets. In you brackets. D8 in bracket. In brackets, yep. Yeah. I'm back up to max, baby. Hey, uh, do you you add your con to this, I believe, or no? Yeah. Oy. Yep, so it's your, your D8 plus your con. my con yeah your uh your constitution the constitution modifier. is a plus two so coots you would get four total hey be back nice. all right you can choose to spend another one if you wish coots another another hit die you have two yeah all right go ahead and roll back again. after your next full rest oh that's a big roll Hey, there's an eight. Hold on, plus I think two a bird is ten. You're back to full, window. baby. Huh, I'm gonna go check this up. Good uh, stuff, dudes. Finally. Noise, noise. Here we go. I forgot about the rerolls. That's convenient to reroll. I know, right? Mm. And you get to do it on mind. ones and twos, which is nuts. Yeah. And you do you crit on nineteens and twenties? Uh, I don't know about the, that. Okay, I didn't know if it went both ways. Uh, Requies got them pace, Fettuccine Alfredo. Yeah, I do feel like the final boss will be a bunch of Italian leeches. <laughs> I don't understand why you're here. I heard a joke from an Italian the other day. Can I say it? Uh, sure. as an Italian, I will allow this. How did the, how did God get revenge on the Romans? How? He turned them into Italians. Dang. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fair. Mm. So what are you guys getting up to this week? I'm back. Oh, he's back. Never mind. Sorry. All right. We're all healed up. All right. Uh, Cooch rolled a D8 and he got eight, which is nice. Eight plus two is that's plenty. Yep. Goker, did you roll any? Uh, Goker got a six and a, and I think that's it. 
six. So we got Should eight. I roll again? Hold on, you got eight, which puts you at three hit points down. Can you can, make another roll? Yeah, you can, yeah. Boom. Boom, that's, there it is. The one he needed. Clap. All right. We're back to full health. Hell yeah. Full health nice. from a short rest. Hell yeah. Ooh yeah. Oh, I forgot. You have Song of Rest, actually. Goker, you add 10 to everyone, so everybody everybody gets back a uh, a hit dice. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, okay. Sweet. Hell yeah. Nice. Excelente. All right. Uh, so above game, I was looking at the map. If we want to continue the... Uh, directly to the south over uh, where is it over here uh this path will take us towards the water i don't see any other potential outlet there's no really other openings i'm good to go in that direction i'm fine with wherever really yeah, yeah let's right. keep it up it would lead us over here so um i'm cool with going first though i don't mind getting hit uh excellente want to follow behind the game yeah Lead the way. I can't wait to trigger a trap that I don't know about. Hot Wheels Something. leading the way. Hot Wheels definitely leading the way. All Where right. There I go. Oh. Oh. Uh, all right. Before all right. I step in the water, though. When you get to about here, you can see that yep. there is cool, clean, and clear water kind of flowing throughout this part of the area. Okay. Disgusting. Uh, is it? Is it? Uh, <laughs> is it like calf high? Is it ankle high? Is it knee high? Uh, it is shin high. Got it. Um, shin Godzilla high. How sh how high is shin high for coots? Waist. There you go. Hmm. Uh, I will test the water by stepping into it to see if anything bad happens. It is cold. All right. We should be able to, traver to traverse this fairly easily. Steak heart. Yes, are Durst. You, are you going to get in the water? Yep. <laughs> is, I got is this the reverse equivalent of when you put a little bit of dial soap for that ad. The complete reverse happens in my head. <laughs> I don't get oh, clean. Right. I just make the water oh, a little hold dirty. Up, hold up, Durst hold takes up. off his yep. jacket and puts it over his head. Oh, God. When, you, tight. when you get to about here, make me a perception check. Excelente. All of us? Yep. Okay. Jeez. Why won't you do that? There we go. There it is. All right. When 16. you get to there, you can hear shuffling coming towards uh, you. From which direction? All right, you hear it coming from this direction. Excellent. I believe Is we there... have more company. Should we follow that or walk away from it? My guess is they're probably guarding the way out. Well, let's keep going in. We should be careful. There's another one of those trees that you pointed out up ahead. I'm going to keep my head above water here. <clears throat> I would recommend if we're going to avoid them, we stick to the left path away from the tree. You know this land way better than us, so you take it away. All right. All right. Hold on. As you get to about here, mm -hmm. the party's crossing. These creatures appear on the corner. Uh-oh. Oh, those are ugly. That's terrifying. Yeah. There's oh, three good. Of Where's the third one? I got a lot of health. He's in yeah, your house where, right now. Where is the third one? Did he not? Oh, I didn't have him selected when I revealed him. He's, he's right now waiting for his Starbucks coffee. <gasps> oh, good. Sorry, I'm late. All right. <laughs> These three creatures appear at the northern end. You can see that they move forward with uh, faces kind of trapped in an eternal scream that makes no noise. 
To the east, however, more shuffling can be heard. And you see these creatures have wandered up. Uh, or, not, excuse me, west, I mean. And you see these creatures appear. Oh, Jesus Christ! All right. Our heroes prepare themselves for another battle. Weapons drawn. And the harrowing wind begins to blow. Next time on Lost at Sea. Oh, we're going to start with the fight. I, I oh. knew. Yeah, perfect cliffhanger. I was, uh, I was coming up with schemes. I know. I was like, well, how do I do this? The screaming horror. Was a out of game question, when I see like a chest here, can I? do I see that even though I can't see that from where Kutsu did? Well, uh, let's go and talk about that. Um, the reason I don't use vision blocking is it lags out the map really bad. But these are walls and things like that. So unless I call a perception check for you to see that or... You, so like... You can't see where things are on the map and like walk towards them because your character doesn't right. know about that. The reason I don't yeah. use vision blocking for the players is that it's really laggy. So yeah, I just want to make sure I didn't like miss anything. Gotcha. No, 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 you're fine. You're, you're fine. fine. You're fine. All right. But to oh, answer your question, for things like chests and stuff, if you if your character can see it line of sight wise, because where you're standing right now, you can't see that because there's a wall here. But if you're like standing there, you're like, wait, there's a chest there. You could see that because I didn't hide it. I did not hide it on the map. So, I see. So you're good. You're good on so that. So line of sight counts as what we can actually see. That is correct. In character. Got it. Yeah. All righty. And there we go. Heck yeah. Let's see about that fan art. Yeah. Let's go. Let's ah, do I gotta the get fan you art. I, I gotta get to your stream real quick. I'll be right there. <laughs> All righty. Clap, clap, clack, clack, clap. This is a nice long session too. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. Thank you for for running. No problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wonderful as always. Yeah, this is uh, this is what I do. Whew, man. One second. Okay, getting that set up. Boom. We got a stinkler slime gore. Oh no, we're hey stinkler. Starting strong. That looks like that one. Oh, what's that one anime? No idea. Also, how did you like the Promise Neverland? Huh? How'd that go? I've not, not caught up yet. Have you, did you finish it? Oh my god! Oh wow! That's amazing. Promise. <laughs> I love the pinky. Yeah, yeah pinky yeah. up. Bloodwig. It is the worst ending to anything I've ever seen in Pro my life. Promise Le Neverland is a great anime till you get to the end. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I am cut deep by what you guys are saying, but I I'll I'll give it with an open mind. Ooh, oh shit! Nice. Oh yeah! Badass. My unarmed strikes, or, or is that Goker throwing me off a ledge? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out next time. <laughs> yeah. And then there was Durst being Ooh, awesome. And then there was wow. the Durst. Durst Thank is you. cute. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a skinny Durst. That's summer bod. That's de that's definitely his favorite summer camp Durst. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yes! Turn your back to the camera. Oh, man. Look at that. Very cool. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> I am tiny in that one. <laughs> Look, at them. Look at all them gold teeth. I'm like a quarterling. <laughs> a quarterling? <laughs> <laughs> Average treasure fan. Average trash enjoyer. I like mm -hmm. it. That's fair. That's fair. Trash enjoyers are chads. Oh, know. we got we got a we got another emote. Uh, Gek W. That's, That's cute. cute. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Not hey, enough maliciousness. Some smell gore. Nice. Oh my man. Some more Stinkler. Stinkler! Stinkler! Yeah! Fuck you! Yeah. Oh, oh, man! I love the banana peel. That's nice. An old fish. Mackerel. Mm -hmm. Video game donkey has the goker. It's tail time. <laughs> it's <laughs> Good album cover. That's very cool. Goku the movie. Based off of Gilgamesh and nothing else. <laughs> Sorry. Look at that jaw. That's a strong jaw. <laughs> mm. Oh, Jesus. Durst. 
Yes. Nice. Cute. Oh. Ah! Cute, for sure. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I just love he just loves his coin so much. <laughs> the first dollar he ever made. Oh, we got ourselves an animatic. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, no. What? Uh-huh. New animatic. Here we go. Here we go. For a small price of... Sorry, one moment. Goker, do we... Do we... 300 doubloons. <clears throat> do, you, do you have 300 doubloons? We can provide that much. Well, it's just doubled now to 600. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry, one moment. One, one moment. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Why, why, why'd you double it? This is the art of the deal, Coots. Just watch. Uh, okay, 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 yeah, actually, good point. You know what? Uh, he's right. We've doubled it again. 12, 1,200. You better... S- the, the, the clock is ticking. <laughs> Very well. 1,200 it is. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> if you wish to rest in our village, it will cost you 600 gold. <laughs> yes. If you'd yes, like, we can like take a... you on credit if you do not have it. It should be noted that loaning is a 25% upcharge. Stinkler feels like they're kind of destroying us right now. Do you have any good <laughs> argument here? What about 300 and no upcharge and no fee for staying here? For your audacity, 500. There are five of you, is there not? There's actually a six guy, but he's invisible. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's yes. 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 That is so good. That is how you oh end that God. one. That's how you end that. Oh my god. That's... There's so much happening in this one. He's so beautiful. Yeah, he's real kawaii. Aww. Yeah, Aww. he's dreaming about his boys being like, You're you're the best. Traditional action shot. That's poggers. Nice. Yeah. Oh the monkey. The monkey. monkey. Monkey's battle. Lost it. Maury's got that on lock. There's the group oh, shot. My camera. Oh, oh that's a badass group shot. Hell yeah. I like that Stinkler. I like Stinkler being like a cheery, disgusting Santa Claus. Yes, sir. Oh, man. He's bringing trash mist to all boys and oh, girls. Oh, damn. <laughs> that's awesome. We need Durst with the kill steal. <laughs> yeah. Bird. 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 Mori. Bird's the word. Coots. Hmm? Yeah. Aww. <laughs> the That's so Mor- cute. Uh-huh. Mori Coots. You Durst. Yeah. See? Stinkler. Smelgor. <laughs> Collect them oh, all. That was very nice looking. That'd be a great figurine. My figurine would just be an attachment for Stinkler. Thank you. <laughs> It's an accessory. Yeah, oh my god. This coots looks sick. Yes. Wow. Oh wow. Yeah. That's, that's like awesome. you have murdered someone that I love. Anger. When Mori eventually dies, he's giving that face. Yeah. Speaking of which. Ooh, that's yeah, Mori with the and... wings. Nice work yeah. on the wings. Mm-hmm. Mori in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Remember. Another Mori. Nice. That is so cute. Is really oh, cute. shit. Another animatic. Oh, my God. Go. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. You guys ever hear this the joke about uh, potatoes? Please tell me immediately. Uh, potato, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it, it is based upon the colloquialism of the word, how it is both the same but yet different. Look at it split. It's almost like that time that you tried to change your hair color. You mean when I wanted to be a blonde? Yeah, you wanted to be useless. Then you shouldn't say that. I am the chef, master of the... All right. We'll go back to... <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Oh man. Where did that chef go? So good. Lost oh, fire. C. Miss. That is amazing. Oh, they colored it. I love really it. Lovely. Oh, put the hold on with the miss on the hat. Hang on a second. Yeah, Maury's definitely <laughs> redeemed himself. He had one bad. One I had one bad day. On, on a on a good day, it like new text appears that says he don't. And then it's he don't miss. <laughs> miss, just playing. He don't. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, oh God. I love cool. the angles. Yeah. Where are your faces, Arcadum? Where are they? I'm not sure how you missed it, but the track's right in front of you. I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's super on brand. That's perfect. Oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Been in his family for generations. Minutes even. Yeah. Holy shit. He remembers the day he got it. We've got some calligraphy art. Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. too. That is so hard to do. I could never. Maury covered in protective trash. Pen. Yes. Nice. That's cool. Mm, monkey. Stinkler monkey. armor is undefeated. I like monkeys. <laughs> You want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> Holy shit, somebody. Look at that. Wow. Oh, no. Ooh. A little guy of him. That's a whole ass figure. Yeah. Damn. How'd they do that? Skill, talent. Carrying love. Mondays. Love, art. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my it's god. World. Hey, oh, yes. Peter, I found this neat thing called the hey. Peter. <laughs> Peter. Found this uh, neat thing called uh, Bushido. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's weird, that Joe, because I am a ninja. Uh, nobody asked you, though. All right, cool. Moving on. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's cool. That looks like something you'd find in, like, old scrolls. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the, the legend of the trash man. Yeah. The Moss Burger scrolls. Damn. Holy crap. He's so cool. He's always cool. I like that there was one cute one this time, though. There were there were a couple cute ones, actually. Oh, speaking of. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> We're making a sand castle together? <laughs> I think so. No, that's not sand. <laughs> that's trash. That's definitely trash. Oh, hey, trash look, castle. more branch pieces. Come look at that. Where'd you get those from? Wow, can you believe it? It's a miracle. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they're just right there. I tried so hard. <laughs> Man. You did no. take the fall. I yeah. took no, I took the fall and gave up the branch. I was like, please don't hate us. Oh, I love it with the club. I like the wholesome smell gore. Somebody wrote a haiku for the cleansing of white fury. Look to the east, beast. Observe how the sun rises. Cleanse and return form. I thought it was more of a Joe Swanson voice. Oh, that my bad. I <laughs> Excuse you. I apologize. <laughs> uh, hanging out with sexy dragons. Uh, lost at sea and uh, steel in silence. Nice. If I had a penny for every wild sorcerer with a big metal brick on a stick, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. <laughs> he failed his survival check. No! He failed his. No! <laughs> Roll the one. Winkler, why? Well. I'm in a plane. Yeah. Aw. Dude, I'm so happy you got your kite today, by the way. Yeah, like, I was hype. Especially because it's like the Avatar staff kite now. That's badass. Oh, I'm oh, hoping man. I get to fly more. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's really cute. So cool. <laughs> Honorable yapping. So cool. Honorable yap. He's so cool. Oh, hey, that's God. me. Oh, yeah, but you're very aggressive. Yeah. You're like, I'm about to come oh, out. Oh, no. Here. Charlie has become too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we've we've branched out from Lost at Sea. Oh, yes! Boy. This is so meta. It has always been my power. Well, if you die in the game, you die in real life. But if you win in the game, you win in real life. <laughs> True. Fine, I'll trash it myself. Oh no! <laughs> <Very fucking> cool. 
it's, it's your finisher. Six million That's your finisher scovels. line. Yeah. <laughs> six million scovels. I'm out. That bathroom destroyed. No, I've only been able to fart. I can't shit. <laughs> oh no! Your body's like I reject. It's it's getting sad. Well, what, you gotta, what you gotta do is deny, 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 deny. Nice. Ooh. Mm. Ah, oh, I love the dynamic shot of that. Mm -hmm. My yeah. wife just butt dialed me. I'm a scare her real quick. <laughs> 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 Durst the cursed. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Oh. You you joke, but I'll show you guys an original drawing the artist originally did. I saw it and went, no, that's too that's too frightening for children. Yeah, it's like that. What's that book? Uh, the scary books as a kid. Oh, go to fuck to sleep. Scary stories Where to read the in the dark. Yeah, yeah, scary stories to read in the dark. Mm. Oh. These are two very nice, wholesome smell gores. Mm -hmm. Smell gore is wholesome. Get yeah. your uh, Goker aid. He's such a good lad. Goker aid. Monkey head. And a great yeah. lay, apparently. I like, you'll get a taste for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Monkey god. No morals. Santino! What? Ooh, okay, that's so, a great side so, profile uh, here. So, one of my, uh, one of the things my community also does is music. And I have a guitarist that's a part of my music community. And he does like a bunch of metal guitar and stuff like this. But apparently, he played. Uh, a, a Spanish guitar for the Goker. Oh, a little flamenco. Yeah, it's called El Goker. El oh, Goker. Man. Here, let me, let me, let me, let me play this for you guys. All right, here we go. God, that was sick, yeah. bro. <laughs> he did that in an piece. hour. Yeah, dude, he did that in an hour. <laughs> nuts. Go you are you are time. nuts, my friend. There you go, Goker. Now you got oh, your own. So uh, now you got your your own theme. Yeah, and it so plays much. every time before he does his insult. <laughs> that was awesome. Every time the party lays down for a song of rest. Boom, 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 boom. Like, I can't rest with my need to boogie. We never even use that salt. Wait, what? What is this? Is this another Does salt animatic? salt actually work on leeches? I thought that was a... <laughs> another a animatic? No, oh. it's, I think it's only snails. Yeah, I thought it was oh snails. God. I didn't think it was leeches. Uh, all right, here we go. Okay. I may not look it, but I went to an art school, you know. And I stole, like, eight crates of acrylic before I tripped the alarm. <laughs> Anywho, what can I do for you, pal? You look like a fine upstanding island representative. Holy shit, what? The kind to understand an <laughs> enterprise when they're presented. Is this TMCA? I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. What is this? I, Yo, I, I was digging that. it though. I was like, I, I was I ready watched, for the go. I was I ready for the sure Joker rap. That, yeah. Uh, oh, I, I just, was not expecting a rap about with Durst. Oh, I, I, I didn't think it was a Durst rap. Is it original? I did not realize that was a Durst rap either. Oh, it's Stipendium. Okay, I don't know if that's DMC or not. Oh wow. I'm gonna bail out of it, but thank you. Damn. Ah, someone I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Where's the pizza? Oh. oh god. They're looking for the peach. Still. <laughs> they takes, will kill us. Takes the frost giant strength. Oh man. <laughs> I could yes. All of a sudden he's the same size as Maury. My I just god. Grow taller. Like Chopper in one piece. Oh damn. Dude, you would be like Chopper. I just Absolute get joy. Yes! Oh, yes! oh Let's yes. Go! That's so cute. I love it. 
Dude, we're gonna do so much flying together. I'm just jealous uh, of his hair. I wish I had Coot's hair. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the music? <laughs> chilling. I'm just chilling. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. You made me have to slice a bitch. Trade offer. The rest of my blood. A pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Durst in traditional art. Oh, hey, there you go. Oh, man, that's, that's truly a terrifying face that Durst would have. Yes. He's so cool. That's at the peak of your sales pitch. Yes! The fucking bowed head and everything. We got what we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not deep dish! It oh, is yeah. not deep dish. True. It's not Chicago's best. Oh my god, what a sick As a man stinker. from Chicago, I yeah. do that. Are you unbuttoning the show? No, I no, love no, that his I'm pants going. aren't yeah. even buttoned no, up. He, no, he ordered guys, he ordered the rock room, okay? This is the rock and the ladies coming afterwards. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, yeah. with the club. Young Stinkler. Nice. Yeah, that's innocent. That's yeah. pre <laughs> daily brothel visits. <laughs> Uh, Goker, I, I trust you. The Goker, also the Goker. <laughs> Goker, I trust you, Gokers. <laughs> uh, thought we're gonna have to go. Dude. Oh my God! Oh, you, Koot, you bastard! Battle shot. That's awesome. Oh, oh no. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's that is badass. Oh, the perspective for everybody showing off different aspects. Ah, oh, this is good. Yo, the <sighs> the killing goke. Compadre, esta no es una pizza. ¿Qué estás haciendo? We're we are like on a slow slide to someone just reenacting the entire killing of Jason Todd with Goker on Coots. Like we're getting there. Oh no, <laughs> dude! Goker and I are gonna have to fight them. Yeah, I will learn to fly. Yes, it's funny you Hell should yeah. mention that, Maybe. Goker. Uh, what's with the? I have learned to fly. What's the? What's with the crowbar? I did learn to fly. That is true. It took me four hours, which is crazy. Oh, I say, I make the joke. I make the joke. <laughs> oh! Bird. Winning the <laughs> fight. Coker's plants. <laughs> oh, we dude, they really did that well, quick. And Goker was like, nah, chaotic crazy. <laughs> In the bottom of the well. Yeah, maybe he just wanted uh, us to feel how he felt. Yeah, Do you like cheese? I'm suddenly feeling a lot more like Jason than the Robin. <laughs> Accurate, though. Give me a pizza. Something personal, kid, coming in from behind. Just shaking in anger and rage. <laughs> a monkey killed this tree, and no one else! <laughs> There's a sign. Can't deny a sign. If it's written, it's true. Oh, God, this is awesome. <laughs> Smile, <laughs> bro. The dance. What did you? What do you owe the monkey? Oh uh, yeah, we owe the monkey uh, bananas, right? Banana, I think. It is bananas. Okay. We'll never see him again. Can yeah. I go to the? Gro well, we gotta stop. By, we gotta by the grocery store. The store. last pizzas, bananas. Everyone, Goker lied and deceived. <laughs> it's gonna be an intervention. I am not a pizza. This is funny. The worm yes. that walks. <laughs> Look at how they massacred my boy. Fucking <laughs> 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 Marlon Brando. <laughs> now that is a pizza. <laughs> I don't know why they were so excited about me, but not the hey, other undead. I'm going to tell you <laughs> what, that right there, more. that's that's a fucking pizza. Dead meat, dead human. That's a nice coots. food. Yeah, that's a nice coots. Oh, yeah. I like the idea that my feet move so fast I kick up dust in a circle. Or you landed. That <laughs> tree's dead. 
Trees did. Marie, Our Marie. Bad I love that they had the sticks in the back too. Yeah, I saw the little branches hanging out yep. of the trash can. It's like I don't know what happened, man. It's crazy. Here's the I like one the idea of around. leeches smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Maybe we should say last rites. Amen. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> I think these are banners they made for each of you guys. What? And chaos, laughter, and suffering, pleasure. Mm. Wow. Soaring like ever higher. Family banners. In trash, we trust. Faith as strong as gold. Mm -mm -mm. Through duty, we find salvation. <laughs> <laughs> the last lost at sea final boss. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh god. <laughs> Except it's just me there and Goker through me. <laughs> it really is like that. Ooh. Oh wow. <laughs> That's nuts. That's real nice right there. I do like the idea of some yellow jacket. Yeah. That's not a pizza. <laughs> huh? Ah! Hey, yo, where's the pizza? You're the puppet master? Oh my god, it's Coots as Robin. Please. Yes, give it to me. Yeah. Ah, oh, give it yeah. to me. Ah. I would look good in that mask. Intense JoJo stomping. <laughs> That's what it was. Foolish Terran warrior. Oh. <laughs> Foolish Terran warrior. I'm gonna order a pizza. <laughs> Another one's treasure, and I met a man who said that, but I like treasure. Magical uh, girl. Oh, oh yes. my god. Give me the transformation. Give it to me. How could you do this, Goker? Madoka Smelgor. How could you? Swear to me. Accident. Swear to me. <laughs> My finger slipped. I guess that is our first try interaction of Batman, Joker, and Robin. And Robin, that's true. That was it. Was you chewing out the the Goker? The Goak. He's on thin ice right now. That was. Hmm. I see you, Donkey. Alrighty, that will like conclude it. tonight's session and the fan art.